everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. Hi. It's Friday. Welcome to tonight's stream. Um, hopefully after this str a big stretch of a week, uh, we should be getting back into the swing of things. For real. Um, this week I had a bunch of papers to work on. I've only really half the one left. Um, but I have, like, the entirety of the weekend to work on that. So we should be good. We should be good as long as I, uh, actually do it at a decent pace. But, how are you guys, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. I'm almost done with college. I only have this paper, and then I have a week to work on my final film project, and then I'm fucking done. And that's gonna be sick. Though, I gotta be honest, the week of my graduation, I'm probably gonna be, like busy as shit. Maybe not. Maybe not. I have, I have like, that film to show on Monday. And then my graduation is on the 26th, so it's probably really only those, like, the day before my graduation and day of that'll be bad, because my graduation is at 9.30 in the morning, and I have to arrive on campus at 8 in the morning, which is so awesome. Ugh. I'm not lo I'm literally not looking forward to waking up that early, especially if, it, like, the summer heat really starts kicking in by then, and it's just, like, fucking miserable out. I'll be so mad. Although my, my cap and gown arrived today. It's in a box on my bed still. I haven't opened it yet. But I know it's it. That's it. Because I didn't order fucking anything else. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. Um... You'll notice in the list of commands, I added a throne command. Um, that is because I do have a throne gifts that I forgot about. And currently, there's only one thing on it, and it's like a big box of mini wheats <laughs> Because of the mini wheats rant. Um, so if for some reason you have, like, I don't know how much money it is, uh, <laughs> you can get me mini wheats Um... You can also suggest gifts if you want. I can't stop you. Honestly, if you suggest any gift, I'll probably just like accept it by default based on how funny I think it is. Because the mini wheats one is already like jokey. I don't have anything I would seriously want to put on throne gifts. So honestly, I would probably just take like fucking anything. So be sure if you want to check out my throne gifts, if you want to suggest a, a gift to tell people to buy me, uh, feel free. And as always, we have the other gifts. If you want to do exclamation point tip to donate to my coffee. The mini weeks is $30? It was not $30 when I added it. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. I have to edit my throne gifts because there's no fucking way. The mini weeks is $30. That has to be. That has to be cheaper mini weeks. Okay, it says $22, but I guess, like, with the fees and such from the website, that's too much! That's too much! Hold on, can I add, like, a cheaper mini wheats? I don't want people spending $30 to get me mini wheats. Is this $25 for you? $25 still feels like a lot for mini wheats. Hold on. I have to go to Amazon. This is more important than playing the game. By the way, tonight we're playing the Toho Kart Racer, uh, Gensal Skydrift. Are these, are they Quantum Mini Wheats? I thought they were just, it just says Kellogg's Breakfast Cereal Frosted Mini Wheats. Six cups. Okay, how about I do just, like, a big box of mini wheats? This is, like, $7. They changed the price of anyone who looks at them. Literally. Okay, mini, we mini wheats rant. Tags, categories, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, add it to wishlist. Okay, check my check my throne again to to see like the new box. We're getting rid of the other one because like twenty two dollars, twenty five dollars, or thirty dollars is way too fucking much for mini wheats. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, Bad Apple ran out. It was only a 10 minute extension. I kept looking up Bad Apple Extended and like none of it was for the actual song from the game. It was all the, you know, the, the fan remix. Is that a fan remix? I don't actually know. Play Native Faith? I could. I mean, I'm gonna open the game now because we're like 10 minutes into the stream and I should probably start playing a video game, but uh, maybe next time I do a Toho thing. This was like, I don't even remember how we got here. I just remember like someone mentioned this game existed to me and then I was like, okay, if someone pays me the money to buy this game, I'll just buy it. And then it happened. So thank you guys for supporting my bullshit. Uh, where I will do anything so long as I get paid for it. <laughs> there, is no, there is nothing I won't do if I don't have to spend my mo own money on it. <laughs> um, but this is my first Toho experience. I've never, I've never played a Toho game before this. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. And hi, Eli, welcome. Um, I gotta get window capture up. There we go. Oh no, it's covering chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. Alright, where's my controller? There it is. Login complete. You are now logged into Sword Art Online. All right, so this is Gensau Skydrift. I hope I'm saying that right. How do you say Gensau? Gensau? Gensau, okay. Let's do the, let's do the campaign. I like this background. On the skirts of the human village, near the entrance to the Forest of Magic, the early summer sun is scorching the asphalt out in front of Corindo. Asphalt? Whoa, what the heck? What is all this? What do you mean, what? It's a race circuit. Pretty well made, don't you think? Marisa... Kirasame, a young magician, lets out a hearty laugh in front of the perplexed Rinosuke Morichika. Morichika. A shrine maiden storms in with her face flushed before Rinosuke can fully regain his bearings. Ah, there you two are. I was looking for... Whoa, what the heck? What do you mean, what? On closer inspection, Marisa notices that Remu's clothes are covered in mud and grass stains. Bro, did she, like, trip on her way here? <laughs> and she appears to be scratched up by countless small branches. What happened to you? You used, you used to be one of the best, Remu. And now look at you. Covered in branches. I don't even want to get into it. Can you fly? Marisa grips her usual broom with a scoff, as though the question hardly needs an answer. Her body starts to float into the air. But in the next moment, she's hit by a strange sensation. An oppressive atmosphere bears down on her, passing from her head down to her back and out through the tips of her toes. Ugh, I'm feeling dizzy. Dude, everybody's like dying. Yeah, that's it right there. Our spiritual power. Or is it magical power for you? Whatever. Anyway, it's almost like it's leaking out. Yeah, this is a visual novel stream. I thought we were playing a racing game. Fooled you guys! Fooled you guys! This is a visual novel! Haha! <laughs> I'm making you guys read! That's not even true. I'm doing the voices for you. Whatever. Ah, no wonder she was careening headlong through the woods. Just as Marissa nods to herself, a pitch-black shadow leaps out from a corner of the storehouse. 
where various objects lay strewn about. Remu and Marissa both sense a powerful aura from it. They should make a when they cry cart game. <laughs> I would feel like bad like doing like a strictly visual novel stream. You know what I mean? Cause like I feel like when I play a game, like there's something like you know, there there like there's the variant of me like playing it. If I did like a visual novel stream, like I don't know, I would I would feel like yeah, I'm, like, voice acting it, and I'll probably give some reactions to it, but I feel like I'm almost kind of taking away from that experience more than adding to it. But I don't know. Maybe that's up to you guys. Um, you may Neko stream, and it takes five years to get to the end? Wouldn't be surprised if Higurashi gets a racing game. Need to see the battler hit awesome drifts and Beatrice use banana. Got bad news about Ace Attorney. Well, Ace Attorney has, like, gameplay. I know that Ace Attorney is, like, generally, like, a visual novel, but there's, like, the element of, like, having to figure out, like, a... Like, you have to do some, like, puzzle solving. You know what I mean? Like, Ace Attorney has, like, a level... Of, like, gameplay. When I think of, like, visual novels, I think of, like, you know, it's a visual novel. It's something that you read, primarily. Um, I know there are people who do do streams of them just reading things, and, like, I respect that, but I, I don't know if I feel 100% comfortable just doing that. Um... An aura overflowing with energy, probably the same energy stolen from them. It took de off down the racetrack. After it, as she says this, Reimu hops onto Marissa's back. Um, Reimu? We can sweat the details later. Try to picture us merging our spiritual power. We'll cover for each other. C could you at least take off your shoes? After watching them fly down the track at high speeds, Rinosuke shakes his head and wonders what he just saw. <laughs> she stands smugly, power brimming within her as the sun rises. It's an amount of spiritual energy that she's never achieved before. She feels like she can take on the world. So far, everything she said has turned out true. But the girl knows, she knows that she's always been strong anyway. Oh, let's go. What happened to you? Your face is flush. Sorry, I'm taking a drink. I had Outback Steakhouse for dinner, and dude... They always make, like, restaurant food, like, salty as fuck. It makes you th so thirsty. Being an average American is consuming as much salt as possible. What happened to you? Your face is flushed. I don't even want to get into it. Can you fly? Of course I- Whoa. Ugh, I'm feeling dizzy. Yeah, that's it right there. Our spiritual power, or is it magical power for you? Whatever, anyway, it's almost like it's leaking out. They're just- They're just- saying the same thing they said before. Americans literally do be eating cheeseburger. I had a cheeseburger from Outback Steakhouse. I'm sorry, I would take like a big cheeseburger over like a steak. I know it's literally a steakhouse, but like, it's fine. It's like fake Australian food anyways. Apparently, according to Star, like the songs they play in the Outback Steakhouse are songs that are popular in uh australia and if that's true australians have like terrible taste like get some king gizzard in there or like got ye or something it doesn't make any sense <laughs> me and the girls when we're against like go drifting quick behind you Remu. something just flew out fats i bet it's the one our behind our power getting stolen Ah, it took off down the racetrack. After it. Of 
course they have bad taste, you would also have whack sense of music if you were upside down all the time, true? I can't hear the music properly, it's upside down. Uh, Reimu? We can sweat the details later, we'll cover for each other. At least try not to get mud on me. Yeah, wasn't Reimu like literally covered in like tree branches and shit, and she immediately does this? Oh boy. What is this item I got? Whoa. Dude, this is kind of awesome. I'm in first, am I even racing anyone? Game, game has me placed as first place, nobody's racing me. This is just a tutorial? Okay. Yeah, how do I- how did it say to drift? Whoa. Color master spark in the background? Oh, fuck. Whenever someone mentions Toho to you, this is what you're gonna imagine from now on? D this is literally my first like, time playing anything Toho related. Although that's not technically true, I had to test this game to make sure it ran okay on my PC before the stream. Sorry, I played like five minutes of this game. I'm sorry, guys. I'm literally fucking sorry to you guys. This isn't 100% blind because I played this game for three minutes. Just to make sure it didn't run like shit on my computer. Can you guys ever find it in your heart to forgive me? This is canon source, trust me. <laughs> Whew, that was a pretty nice racetrack. Come on, get it together, Marissa. We lost sight of it. Forest of Magic? <laughs> Where'd it get off to? Oh, it's the... Akure Shrine Maiden. I'm guessing it got you two as well. Uh, I can't believe we had to come all the way down to the mountain on foot. Yeah, sounds rough. Anyway, we're chasing after some black shadow. We think it went this way. A black shadow? Well, that's Shadow the Hedgehog. Don't make us explain the whole thing. Come on, Marissa, let's go. Wait, you're riding on top of her? Oh, I get it. That way they can share their spiritual power. Well, we can't just leave it at that. Quickly, l Lady Suwako. Get on top of me. Wait, seriously? We're really doing this? That's fine. This is like- this is like the magic version of like when people ride on each other as like surfboards. I'm kind of like into this music also. How many like stages are in this game? I would be very surprised if this game had, like, as much courses as, like, a Mario Kart. And not, like, not, like, 8's, like, bullshit, like, like, we're gonna have, like, 96 tracks at the end of the DLC. I mean, like, base Mario Kart, like, 32, I don't think this reaches that. But if I'm wrong, I'd be pleasantly surprised. I like the art of the, the girl who does the laps. Like, the art style for this game is fine, but there's, there's, like, something so timeless about, like, the Toho art style of, like, the main games. Like, I've never played any of the Toho main games, but the artwork I've seen from them is, like, this is, this fucking rules. This is, this is awesome. There's no, there's no need to, like, try and improve on this. This already kicks ass. Yeah, the Zun art style is really good. I should have paid more attention also. I did not see. That's how you drift. It's, it's you do break. Whoa. Oh, 
I'm losing to hell and back. I have fucking lost. Yeah, I want to retry. We do it again. No, I don't want to retry the cutscene. I wanted to redo the race. I already know what these guys say. The ladies of Doho. I think, like, one of the best, like, posts online that I've seen is the one, like, Tumblr post that's, like, Planet Earth has 3.5 billion women, which is pretty fucking feminist if you ask me. And then someone replied with, it's still less than Toho. That post really stuck with me. I think I like, I think I like posted that on, like I reposted that on Twitter and it got like a decent amount of clout. I don't think I could like do like reposting posts anymore. Like even if I like, show like who op is which i did i'm still like but that's just like it's not even my own post and people are following me for like what is not even my own post i how many fucking items do these two keep getting i'm getting like nothing i'm getting fuck all in terms of items oh here we go do I just have to press the R button? Oh, do I have like a gauge? I have like a gauge on both characters to determine when I get items. Dude, Toho Kart has like the most insane meta. Man, I have no idea what any of these items do, so I keep, like, fucking up. No! Let's go! Oh my god! Gotta swap between them to use each of their spell cards, yeah. Beat you by less than a second. Holy fuck. This is the village from Pokemon Legends? No, we lost it. Wait, what's this? Teehee. Am I pretty? I thought you were done with all that. Hmm, you two are acting pretty weird. Too? Oh wow, you noticed me. Oh, when did you get there? I knew it. It must be an effect of having their power drained. Let's hurry on ahead, Lady Suwako. Ooh, sounds fun. Me too, me too. I want to go too. Hey, don't follow us. You here for the motherfucker Morgan Toho kart racing game? You're just on time then. Welcome. Welcome, Devi. Oh, and you get the spells from going through the gates. Wait, this game is like genius? Although I'm- I'm trying to cope currently with the fact that, uh... The drift is the same button as braking. I'm like so- I'm like so Mario Kart pilled that, like, pressing the brake to drift, like, doesn't add up in my mind. It's like, no, but there's like a separate drift button. That's how God intended it. Oh, coat. Wonder if there's alternate controls? Maybe. Uh-oh. 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 
That's not supposed to happen. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, wait. Where the fuck do I even go? Okay, wait, I go here? Oh god, we're so fucked unless we get like a gold shroom or something. Whatever the Toho equivalent of a gold shroom is. Unless the opponent is like really bad, how is she like that close to me already? I can like see her within view. Wait, how fucking long did I meander? They make this shit look easy. I make this shit look easy. By the way, I was gonna do Stanley Parable today, but I decided against it. Um, I'm gonna ask in chat right now, tomorrow, I still wanna do Mario Kart Wii on Sunday, but tomorrow, if I do stream, uh, do you wanna see Stanley Parable or Balan Wonderworld more? <laughs> Oh, dude, I got my special! I got my special, it gives me, like, a- It gives me, like, rain. It gives me a rain filter. That's a hard question. You guys are gonna have to choose. If you want- If you want Stanley Parable or Balan more. Both are gonna happen either way, but... Stanley Parable was supposed to be today. Uh, and I, di I did this instead, sorry. I figured that Stanley Parable was gonna be something I wanted more time for. Hello, good evening. So they ended up following us all the way here. Oh, aren't you? We came to steal your power! Well, this seems lively, but could you come back a little later, please? The mistress is feeling a bit disagreeable today. No, 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 I'm feeling much better now. A big crowd of uninvited guests aren't coming here. That means some kind of incident must be happening all over again, Sokyo, right? It's just as you have guessed. I'm going to look into things a bit. Right on, my faithful steed. Suasana mode. Sh she rode her? Is this what the kids are doing these days? <laughs> the mistress's eyes are sparkling. Sakuya. Yes, yes, right away. Then if the guests could be so kind as to serve as her groupies... Alright, this is a little much. We gotta get our powers back. Oh, this one's- this one's hard, though, because you gotta fight two other people. Oh my god, and you fly! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the results of what I should stream tomorrow between Stanley Parable and Pal and Wonderworld. I have no, no, I haven't checked what the uh, options are, so they could have put in a joke third option without me knowing. Uh, if there's a joke third option, you should absolutely pick it, and I'll stream that instead. Like if the mods put like Cheetah Men or something, like we'll just do that instead. And Lee's Wonder World. <laughs> Alright, we gotta do the boost. We gotta start using our spells. You can vote with bits now? Wait, you can vote with bits? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, but also, like... Yeah, I'd accept, like, votes with bits. If you, if you, want, if you want to pay to rig the election, that's fine with me. I had no idea though, that's crazy. That is crazy, and if you're like determined enough, you could be like fucked up and just like completely shift the results in your favor. 
because this is a small stream. It's not like people are going out of their way like to constantly pay me, which I should stress I have no problem with. I don't, I don't do this for money. I do it because I love it. But hey, if you want to rig elections and pay me in the process, I don't know, that's fine. This is literally like Mario Kart Double Dash shit. It's kind of awesome. This is Mario Kart Double Dash if it was awesome. I, 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 the Double Dash is fine. Double Dash is fine, but it's not my favorite Mario Kart, not by a long shot. I know, it's better than like the original in 64 though. I know there's like some people who will ride or die by like 64, but it's kind of doo doo to me. I'm sorry. I don't have nostalgia for it. And I think it kind of controls like shit. Sorry. I don't hate Baby Park. Baby Park is like one of the best courses in like 8 Deluxe. Yeah, this is Mario Kart Double Dash for women. I'm just gonna get second. I lost. We gotta get better. This is the Scarlet Devil Manor. And soon we will be going to the Violet Angel Manor. That's a Pokemon joke. Everybody laugh at the Pokemon joke, everybody. It's timely! It's always timely because Pokemon is always relevant! <sighs> Sorry. Anyways. I gotta, like, start thinking about what my new, like, stream schedule is gonna be for the summer, you know? Maybe it's something to consider after I get, like, a part-time job, but... Like, I definitely gotta, like, figure out what... What streams are gonna look like in the summer. Because I don't have to worry about, like, Mondays being bad anymore. Maybe, honestly, we make Monday Mario Kart Monday. We do... We do a little bit of karting. And it doesn't have to always literally be Mario Kart. It could be shit like this. I still want to do Sonic and All-Stars Racing. Oh, and I could do Team Sonic Racing. But, like, I fucking love kart racers. What can I say? I gotta be honest, guys, like... I think I've given many answers to, like, favorite genre. It might actually just be, like, mascot kart racers. Like a bitch. Okay, Balan Wonderworld was the official winner of the What Should I Stream Tomorrow poll, so I have no choice in the matter. We have to stream Balan Wonderworld. The, the Stanley Parable fans, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. They keep going to the right path is probably, like, easier to do right path. Because this path is, like, super fucked up. It has the bottomless pit. Would you guys still like me if my favorite genre was just, like, kart racer? Get the fuck out of here. What is happening? I'm being engulfed by the the light of heaven. I think you should not be able to see where Koishi is on the map. Why should I not be able to see where she is? It's 
Fuck, I lost again. No! Why'd you have to slap me right at the end? Fucking pour salt on my goddamn wound. She can turn invisible. In the lore, you can't tell when she's there. Koishi's power is that if you can't see her, you completely forget about her existence. That's like the- that's just like a power that all fictional characters have, technically. Like, theoretically, if all of us- if all of humanity was to forget about, like, Mickey Mouse, would it matter if he existed or not? I don't think it would. It would just be like, well, this is- it's just nothing. It, it's like the old- it's the old, like, conundrum. If a tree falls in a wood, in the woods and no one hears it does it make a sound if a mickey mouse is like forgotten by humanity does he exist <laughs> the animals hear it well what if there's no animals in the woods i thought like the theoretical was there's like nothing there if an anime girl falls in the forest, well, that's what happened to Reimu, and everybody knew that happened. I gotta go a little crazier with my kart racing. Because this AI ain't bad. Then the forest is shit. Ow. Ow. God, you get stopped for so long when you get hit by an item. Dude, I should play- I- like, someone mentioned Sonic Riders earlier, I should try and play Sonic Riders again. That game is, like, so fucking hard to, like, get into, but when you do, it's, like, fucking awesome. I loved Sonic Riders as a kid. I got, like, so good at the first one, and then I was never able to replicate that again, but we should do it. We should stream Sonic Riders. We'll make a weekly segment out of doing, like, weird racing games. If a Satori with her third eye stitched shut falls in the forest, does it make a sound in your unconscious mind? Zero gravity on Wii was fucked up, it was also not good, to be fair. I don't like Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Like, Sonic Riders is, is such, like, a cool game, and then Zero Gravity is, like, okay. By streamlining it, we have immediately made it worse. Like, I don't know. Like, Sonic Riders definitely could have been, like, more accessible, but, like, you know, I feel like they tried to overcorrect. And it just kind of sucks now. I won by, like, barely a millisecond. Holy shit. Zero Gravity is the only good Riders game because it has Blaze the Cat in it. True. Team Sonic Racing is the only good Sonic Kart Racer because it has Blaze the Cat in it. Hmm, yes, yeah, something certainly stinks around here. Really? There wasn't anything here when I came by this morning. <sighs> Someone came. The vampire, huh? What a pain. Let's get out of here for now. Hey, they ran away! If they're running, we're chasing. I love how nothing the story is. <laughs> like, this game doesn't need a campaign, but they did it anyways, and it's really funny. I'm charmed by it. I will say, I am charmed by it. Oh god, you know what I've been thinking about playing recently, but I- but I'm like trying to stop myself from doing so? 
I've been thinking a lot about Splatoon 2, and I feel like it's partially because of the Chugga Conroy Splatoon 2 Let's Play that's been ongoing, but just like, I keep like thinking about it, and I'm like, oh man, I really like to play Splatoon right now, but then I'm like, but like Splatoon 3 comes out in like four months, and if I just like play a bunch of Splatoon 2 now, I'll get like sick of it before the next game comes out, and I doubt like the next game is gonna be such a radical shift that I won't be like super burnt out on it by then. They should only release video games when it's convenient for me. History of the Moon? Is that like a song in Toho? I do like this soundtrack. I think it's pretty good. I've been kind of popping off. Dude, maybe like the vampire girl is just like busted. These are all Toho OST remixes. Got it. Familia cracked and poggers? Kind of a little bit, yeah. You can never lose with vampires? This is true. Except I'm about to lose. I was, like, winning the whole race, and now that we're, like, right at the end, I'm about to, like, lose it all. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I literally- I was winning so good that entire race, and then just towards the end, I fucked up. This is messed up. This is supposed to be a baby game. That's not true. What is, like, the target audience of, uh, Toho? Oh, the, the main audience of Toho is feminist, but that's beside the point. Toho is a great series if you like women. People who like to suffer. Damn. Not sure if there is one, really. Dweebs who want to get blasted with bullets. Get fucking destroyed, kid. Go to hell, buddy. Popular with middle school girls in Japan. That makes sense. Both dweebs and lesbian? Hell yeah. That's what we like to hear. That's the, that's the target audience that I'm striving for. Nothing personnel, kid. Neither of my Tohos have items yet. I gotta go through more of the rings. You're a gay man who loves when women are powerful and rude, so you like it? Hell yeah. We got- we gotta win. We gotta win. Oh my god, I cannot believe we're almost an hour into this and somehow I've went the entire stream without mentioning uh today's gaming news and i know i know you guys trust me as like a news source so i apologize for not mentioning this earlier i really think it was an oversight for me um anyways have, have you guys seen the latest activision blizzard uh diversity spaces 
the Overwatch diversity tool. Whatever the fuck. That fucking shit. That's like, probably like, you could not like, waterboard that kind of information out of me. Okay, for so, so for those who are not aware of this, Activision Blizzard recently made an announcement on their website um, about how they were they were making an effort. They were making an effort to do like good representation, and we try very hard. And we have this we have this diversity tool that tells us. What, we, we, we rate the characters based on how diverse we think they are. And it's just like one of the most transparently like terrible things that a company has like admitted to. Like what they've ex essentially ad admitted is that they see representation as a checkbox that they have to like f fulfill. It's so- it's so fucking dumb, and it's like so fucking transparent, and it's exactly the kind of thing I would expect from a company like Activision Blizzard. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Activision Blizzard is getting a lot worse before it's getting any better. Also, holy shit, I just have these, like, flames forever? Listen, I don't know if I'm, like, ignorant for saying this. And if I'm saying something stupid right now, you're, you're free to tell me off for this. I would literally rather, like, companies not do, like, representation if they're not going to go out of their way to, like, actually make that representation, like, worth a damn. Like, if they're literally just doing it so they can check off a quota and they're not doing, like, any sort of, like, sensitivity training or they're not trying to, like, you know avoid like stereotypes or whatever like i don't fucking care just make nathan drake again we know you want to just make like nathan drake again they like overwatch had to name their like new like the new black character isn't isn't she like literally just named off of like a civil rights activist like that's like that's like way too on the nose that's too much. Again, you you are free to tell me to fuck off if I'm like saying something like out of line, but like I don't know. That just that just that, that, that almost feels like insensitive. Like naming like your fucking Overwatch character after like a real like civil rights leader. That's like that's like if I made like a new character like a new a new black man character for like a piece of media I was making and his name was Martin Luther and like his personality is that he hates racism yeah it's it's surface level it's and like just just don't bother if you're not going to put in the time to actually make it worth anything Like, when people want representation, they don't want bad representation. That doesn't help anyone. Hm, they got away? Oh, is that the Shrine Maiden and her companion again? What's she doing out here? Do you think she knows something? Let's try tailing her. Are we playing as the vampire again? According to our info, it should be around here. Oh, right. There was supposed to be a Kappa factory behind the waterfall. What? Really? In that case, they might have a clue. <laughs> yeah, Marissa and Reimu have just disappeared from the story. This is the third level in a row we're playing as the vampire. <laughs> 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 
They like existed in the story for a bit and then they just like dip. And now it's just vampire time. It's funny little vampire time. <laughs> they died. All those tree branches finally caught up to Reimu. May she rest in peace. One, th one last thing I will say about the Overwatch, like, diversity thing. Like, do we all agree if, like, the full, like, charts and stuff and, like, descriptions of all these characters got leaked, it would create one of the single funniest, like, days online imaginable? Like, dude, it would be fu- like, Twitter would be fucking crazy that day. Wanna see Junkrat and Winston's and the fucking hamsters? <laughs> we need to Overwatch chart diverse like Mario characters. Easy Mario like Luigi is a homosexual Italian, plus 100 points to uh, sexual orientation and culture. <laughs> this is easy. I got potion! Let's go. Dude, do you have like unique items on each, each course? one is especially baffling because how did they rate all the white European cultures against each other? I don't know. Like, how would how would you rate that? That doesn't that's not like something you can like quantify. I fucking lost again. Although this is only two. Zarya being Russian was higher than Torbjorn being Swedish. It just doesn't add up. Anyways, the real news today, baby, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. They they showed the, the Blue Lion's house. Mercedes' new look is so good. Sorry, guys, I like Fire Emblem. That's your, that's your like, once a stream, like, mention of Fire Emblem. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're doing Fire Emblem Warriors, New Hopes, or Three Hopes. New Hopes is the Star Wars movie. Sorry. Sorry, getting my franchises confused. As we all know, Star Wars and Fire Emblem, it's like the same thing, basically. Listen, they need to show me Catherine and Shamir. That's what I need from Fire Emblem Three Hopes. I'm gonna fly off again. Well, it's just, it, like, that's what Ingrid is, to be fair. This is gonna piss off the Ingrid fandom. I don't care about Ingrid. I will say hi. I will say hi. She's the one who beats you senseless because she's a holy. Well, no, she does. She won't beat you senseless because she's a holy woman. But if she wasn't, she would. Yeah, 
I played Sacred Stones years ago. I don't actually like Sacred Stones that much, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit of a freak and a weirdo. I actually do like Fire Emblem primarily for the gameplay. Um, and Sacred Stones is, like, way too easy for me. I, I kind of just, like, tune it out. Which is not even really fair, because, like, I didn't do that with Awakening, but, like, I'm- I, Listen, I'm not perfect. I'm a hypocrite sometimes. This is- this, for everyone who doesn't give a shit about Fire Emblem, this is your, like, once a stream requirement. You have to get through this segment, otherwise you're a coward. Playing on hard and doing an Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Wow, was, that was a really cool item. This is the only time you hear about Fire Emblem and you kind of like the series? I could literally make anything out about Fire Emblem and you'd believe me? That's a- that's a- that's a, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um... Krom is voiced by Bill Murray. Um, Byleth was originally voiced by Ego Raptor, but unfortunately, Ego Raptor died tragically. And that's why he's no longer the voice of Byleth. Although, I got a hand. I got. Listen. Listen, I've made fun of Aaron Hansen many a times. He's like one of the easiest targets in the world because nobody really likes him after 10 years of Game Grumps. Um... Fucking hell, he's like, he's like better than like Kerberfer at least. Like, Aaron Hansen is not like a great guy. Kerberfer is just like fucking... Ugh. He's not even like funny to joke about. Like, Aaron Hansen is, like, funny to joke about. Like, Kerberfer is just, like... I, I hate even, like, thinking about this guy. Aaron Hansen found dead in Miami poop disaster. On his will, he left all his belongings to his wife. He also put on his will, fuck off, Dan. It's tragic that they fell out like that. But I mean, I guess their friendship lasted longer than his his friendship with JonTron. Okay, we actually won that one? I don't know what I did differently. I'm picking up a huge aircraft way up in the sky. Alright, then we're boarding them. When did you get here? Game Grumps is part of the reason why you fully ditched the name Dan. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, like, it's fine to be named Dan. I don't know if, like... Dan from Game Grumps is, like, the first person I would associate with the name Dan. I guess I don't know what else it would be. What are, like, what are, like, some other, like, famous Dans of the world? Dan Geesling? Danny Phantom? True. True. Daniel from Damn Daniel? Literally! True! True! How- how soon we all forgot about Damn Daniel. Oh, I forgot, we also do have, like, actually, I made the joke about gaming news earlier. We actually, like, they showed more characters for Nick All-Stars. I kinda do wanna get that game. Dude, they got Hugh Neutron in the game before Jimmy Neutron. 
which is really funny. Like, I know, like, a huge Neutron is, like, a little bit of a meme, but it's kind of funny that he got into the game before Jimmy Neutron. I just really like those, like, hoppy pastas where, like, the one, like, you know, like, burger shop worker was, like, angry at Jimmy and was like, Listen, Jimmy, you're, like, a smart guy. I'm sure you'll get far in the world, but you're never gonna have a fulfilling relationship if you feel the need to, like, fucking flaunt how smart you are all the time. Like, you're just going to believe that everybody who's not as smart as you is lower than you. Is that the life you want to lead? Every- every single one of your friends who's stupid as fuck is going to live amazing, fulfilling lives, cultivating relationships with other people. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna build some big rocket and you're gonna win a Nobel Peace Prize, and that's going to be all you have going for you. You're not gonna have someone to go home to. Yeah, could someone, like, find that and, like, post that in the stream discord? But yeah, they added Hugh Neutron, they added Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot, and they added Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, so we can finally have Rocco's Gaming Tragedy. I'm Spunky, I'm the dog, poor Rocco, he has no more games. This shouldn't happen to any wallaby. Of course, how could I forget? It was just L Lapu. I mean, S S Serenson. Oh, it looks like you, you're the second to arrive. Well, when it stands out this much, it's no surprise. If thou must needs know, twas I that arrived first. Fucking hell, did it, does this character really talk like this? No, hold on, this isn't right. Why is it back in this form? Uh, that's what you're worried about, Miss Second Rate? If thou must needs to know, the conclusion of thy discussion is Muroren. Myoren Temple is filled with a mysterious power. I don't even know which character I'm playing anymore. We're, there's four of us now. Dude, this is Bowser's airship from Mario Kart DS. Hell yeah. This is, like, same idea. Oh, this song is really good. What the hell? I like this a lot. Dude, this really- like, this above any other level in this game feels like a Sonic Riders, like, stage. Like, this reminds me of when you do, like, the Babylon Rogue shit. These ladies are beating my ass. Ladies and gentlemen, the women of Toho. They're better at racing than me. They might have. Based on what I saw from the, uh like, trading cards, there's, like, at least 20 characters in this game. I got fucking blasted? Cool. I think I'm doing, like, Heavenly Light. Let's go! Wait, I'm in first! Oh my god! And I have, like, a pretty good lead on them. I hope there's, like, no rubber band AI in this. 
Because if there's not, I might I might be able to secure the dub. Byleth and Rick catch a dub? Got this Byleth! Oh my god, I need like a new fucking Battle Royale to play. Fuck's sake. I know they just made like PUBG like free to play, but I don't know if my computer could handle that right now, and I still haven't like gotten the new parts in. I have them! For anybody who's wondering, like, four months later, after the Buxathon, I have all the parts, I just, like, I need, like, my cousin to, like, help me build this machine, because I am incompetent and can't do it myself. But don't worry, your money was not wasted. They're here, and they will be put in. Toho Battle Royale? <laughs> Can, like, Nintendo put out, like, a new Battle Royale? Like, like, we got Pac-Man 99 and, like, Bomberman R last year, although that was Konami, not Nintendo. Um, but, like, I need, like, I need, like, a new Battle Royale that's, like, silly and fun and makes me smile. Our power was stolen from us. Yeah, you're probably right. Now let's hurry before something real bad happens. The sky above. Haka I didn't get to read that in time. Hail! Ugh, we were found? If she's alone, we can take care of her. I know this, like, bunny girl. I've seen the bunny girl before. She's not alone, though. We finally caught you. Ugh, this is all you're doing, isn't it? Uh, what? In fact, you're about to see for yourself. I won't let this go as a mere prank. What happened to the JoJo Battle Royale they announced? Did they announce a JoJo Battle Royale? That's really funny. I don't know anything about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but I might be willing to play the JoJo Battle Royale for a joke. Okay. I gotta be honest, this game has kind of looked a little ugly so far. But, like, that's fine, because it runs fine on my computer, and that's mostly what I care about. But this is kind of a little bit stunning of a level. The cherry blossoms. Like, I saw this and I was like, holy shit. For, like, the first time. Dude, I've got, like, demon wings. Get decimated, kid. Come on. Lady Yuko, are you slash J or slash SRS? Gonna appreciate what JoJo brings to the table in terms of what am I looking at? I almost watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But my, and, like, I almost watched it with Chimp Dinner Live, but my ex really did not want to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So I just never did. So now when anybody tells, like, a JoJo joke, I can't, like, say, like, oh yeah, I get that, because it would be a lie. I didn't watch the show, I'm sorry. I went from first to last. God damn it. That was only one lap! I don't know, it's like so hard to get me to watch like stuff to begin with. I don't know if I like like JoJo, if I was to ever watch it, it'd be like 15 years in the future. After I watch like Breaking Bad and The Sopranos. Just so everybody knows, like I've we, I'm watching The Sopranos before I watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What is the clown piece communism all?
Late series JoJo stands are the most unhinged shit. Your favorite is Cream Starter. A perfume spray that shoots out meat. Yeah, I'll take your word for it that that's a thing in JoJo and not something made up. I have no reason to believe you're lying. But also... <laughs> Oh, I have something I would like to, like, soft announce, um, that I think is gonna be really fun, but it's gonna take, like, a bit of work to get done. But I figure I have, like, enough, like, projects for the summer that I'm keeping, like, under wraps that I could probably, like, reveal one of them. Um, so me and my friends have started concepting for a, a, like, fake Pokemon trading card game with a bunch of, like, doofy, like, cards that you would find online in, like, Google Images. It's gonna be, it, it, like, we're gonna, like, mod, like, tabletop simulator, we're gonna, like, do, like, custom decks and stuff. It's gonna be really good, I think. Just, like, trying to- trying to figure out how the fuck to balance around these, like, dipshit trading cards that are Usually either meant to be, like, extremely overpowered, or, um, extremely terrible. But most importantly, it's for a laugh. But I was, like, literally thinking about it the other day. I was like, has anybody ever made a tabletop simulator mod that just, like, puts in a bunch of those, like, shitty fake cards that, like, people make? online dude we found like a pokemon trading card website that has like seven seventy thousand pages of like fake pokemon cards it's like if if we like we will have so much material for this and also we'll probably make some of our own to be fair if there's like something something funny we'll probably just put it in i don't know like how much i would do of this like, listen, this isn't gonna be, like, my god game or anything, but I think, like, I think, like, we develop it, we probably get a few good streams out of it, and then it would be awesome. And then, and then we can also release it to the public. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I still have to, like, in the, in the little stream discord I have, not the public one, but a private one with, uh, some friends and collaborators um we have a channel in there i haven't even seen all the cards that have been sent yet like those fake pokemon cards that are partially compliant with the actual game where they also just make shit up yeah pokemon card ability named everyone explode now literally My school recalled the deadline to withdraw from classes. How did I beat these guys by 10 seconds, but I kept losing before? What was that clown honk? What is that? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> what is that? Where, where the fuck, where is that coming from? Is that, what? <laughs> Why is it making that noise? Am I fucking going insane? You guys are hearing, you guys are hearing this shit, right? That's the game's turn sound? Is it the game's turn sound? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. That's the wrong way sound. Nui is out of bounds. <laughs> Dude, she's... she's. <laughs> I 
thought it was like going insane. I was like, why the fuck is it playing some like fucking clown honk? Do you think she passed on to the next life? No, I don't think so, mistress. This is a fake meant to display abundant spiritual energy. However, she has the power to make it real. We need to stop her. Embers of blazing hell, let's go! Finally, something good happens around here. Jesus Christ. Ow, ow, ow! Hot, hot, hot! Looks like there's nothing here after all. Wow, that's one big crowd for a place like this. It smells fishy to me. They must be up to something. <laughs> We've got you outnumbered. Bring it on. Don't make this even more complicated. Actually, this makes it nice and simple. Let's have a match. If we win, you'll tell us everything you know. Yeah, I literally have already, like, lost the plot. This game's plot is, like, non-existent. I don't even know if these, like, characterizations are consistent with the Toho characters. I Like, this could be, like, the Team Sonic Racing of Toho, and I wouldn't know. Although this song fucking rules, what the fuck? Dude, Toho OST is, like, so good. Like, I always knew Toho music was good. But, like, you know how it is with, uh... With, like, video game music. It, like, pretty much always sounds better when you're listening to it in-game. When it's, like, helping to build the atmosphere. Where's the impossible hail of insta-kill talent? <laughs> Good question. And hi, Joseph. Welcome. You know how it is with spaghetti? This is true. Toho characterization is difficult to distinguish between. Oh, between Fanon and Cannon. Got it. I know that a lot of, like, Toho games that come out, like, obviously they have the permission of Zun, but I don't know if they have, like, his involvement necessarily. Who the fuck hit me? May Hellfire rain upon you? <laughs> that's so, that's so un unnecessarily violent. For what? Because I'm losing at the Toho Kart Racer? I mean, to be fair, losing at the Toho Kart Racer is one of the worst things that can happen to a streamer. Like, honestly, there are, like, three terrible things that can happen to a streamer. It's number one, cancel by cancel culture. Number two, uh, getting- dying on stream. Number three, losing at the Toho Kart Racer. Zun's attitude towards Toho fan games is people can do literally what they want and claim it's official and release it for money. That's like, you know, I usually don't like to use this term, but that's honestly like based as fuck. Like, that's the shit I would do. Like, genuinely. Like, if you want to make something based on like characters I've made, like, fucking go for it. Just don't be like a dipshit about it and like, I don't give a fuck. Just, uh, just don't Pepe the Frog my creations, alright? That's all I ask. Been trying to use based more because it's a funny word. I feel like we've kind of gotten to the point of, like, the based reclamation. It doesn't feel as associated with, like, chuds as it would have, like, maybe, like, a year ago. But that's probably partially because I've been hearing my friends say it more. Uh-oh. I'm being summoned back to heaven. God is taking back his favorite angels.
<laughs> you say it because of Northern Lion. I understand. I understand. I was watching some of his uh, Nintendo Switch Sports VODs. They're pretty good. Shout out to Toho for having the longest fucking title themes. This song is called Solar Sect of Mystic Wisdom Nuclear Fusion. I mean, to be fair, if they called it just Nuclear Fusion, uh, Zon would have been cancelled by King Gizzard stealing their song Nuclear Fusion. Kept watching his Reddit videos? Dude, React Court is like some of the best shit that Northern Lions ever put out. I love the idea of like a completely normal guy like browsing insane people on Reddit. I should do that one of these days. Just like look at like, am I the asshole and just like judge people. Cause I could very easily do that. I'm a very judgmental person. I could absolutely like look at like insane people on Reddit and be like, you're fucking crazy. love react court because am i the asshole is the worst subreddit you've ever seen with your eyes one day i mean people seem to really enjoy the one segment i did which was just like reading like two sentence horror for like a half hour or so i remember people really liked that so who knows maybe i'll do something like that again Favorite Toho theme played already? Border of Life goes so hard, you hope Necro Fantasia is also in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, could I have just switched to get out of that? Or did I happen to switch at the exact moment where it was fine? No! Oh wait, we're, we have one more lap, it's fine. I thought I like fucked it up because I bumped into that wall. Dude, this is like a kind of a sick race course also. I gotta be honest, like, the, the track design in this game is pretty fun. Although I feel like there's a, like, it's a, it's a little harder than something like a Mario Kart course. I feel like there's a lot more opportunity for you to, like, fumble around for a while. Which, to be fair, is, like, fine. Not every kart racer is, like, going for being as, like, easy and accessible as Mario Kart. Like, Mario Kart works because, like, basically anybody can get into it, but sometimes you want something a little more specialized. I'm, I'm losing a little bit, though. I gotta be honest, I'm losing a little bit here. I have to do the map again. Dude, it's like every map we have to do like three times, and then we finally win. That seems to be the pattern. I like the track design here, though. It's pretty cool. Gaming requirement of three. You have not earned a victory until you've played the Toho Kart tracks at least three times. Genso Skydrift tracks. I keep calling it Toho Kart. Actually, I'm curious. Is it Toho or Tuhu? Because I feel like I've heard both around a lot. What is, what is like, generally agreed upon to be, like, the actual pronunciation? No fucking idea. First one, Toho. 
So it is Toho. Got it. Okay. See, yeah, no, see, now that I'm, like, now that I'm doing this a third time, I wonder if this game has, like, AI that, like, gets easier the more it sees you lose. Reddit's supposed to be Toohoo, but Toho reads correct, considering Ooh usually has an O sound. Okay. I fell off again. L plus ratio plus you fell off. I'm still in first! They definitely have, like, that scaling AI, where it gets, like, easier the more you lose. By Japanese language rules, it would be said as Toho. Got it. Fuck you! Why would you do that? I also kinda like that if you're careful, you can like glide over the uh. glide over the gaps. Cheer no. This is it if Mario Kart 8 was women? This is like a little more intense than Mario Kart 8. I feel like, again, like I feel like Mario Kart in terms of like kart racers is like the perfect little medium of like very accessible, very easy for basically anyone to get into. This I definitely feel like you kind of already have to like kart racers a bit to get into. Although, if I had to rate this on, like, the uh, scale of, like, Mario Kart to Sonic Riders, like, this definitely is, uh, easier to get into than Sonic Riders. <laughs> Sonic Riders is a fantastic game if you're okay with dedicating a lot of time to getting good. This feels like you could put on with your friends and they would, like, probably still get the general concept. Maybe you have to spend a little bit learning the controls, but in general, like, I don't think this would be so bad. Yeah, Sonic Riders has the bird. There we go. We won that time. I finally get it. That chill I'm feeling. Even here in the blazing... <laughs> This is the- this is the best line that's ever been said in any kart racer that's ever been made. This is the single best line in any kart racer for you to- to ever play, is that chill I'm feeling even here in the blazing hell. Let's go, she may not know any spell to stop this. Misty Lake. She is in hell. It's just it's just really funny. Going from hot to cold like this is pretty rough. You're here, aren't you? Show yourself. <laughs> you're late, Shrine Maiden. And the others, too. I doubt you're the only one behind us, though. She's here with you, isn't she? Good guess. Sheesh. So this time you're working with the fairy, huh? Hey, you'd better not look down on us fairies. She's right, you know. With a little flip courtesy of yours truly, her energy is truly the strongest there is now. Plus, she's not the brightest bulb. She's the perfect fit for my next ambition. After seeing Moyoren Temple and Sagyo, Sagyo, uh, Ayakashi, who knows the limit of that power? I'm, I don't know how to pronounce Japanese names, but I'll try, I'm sorry. Is it Sai- Saigyo? Saigyo? Ayakashi? What do we do? Saigyo. What else? Face them head on. <laughs> it's time you had a taste of mud, human. When the weak are empowered, they're like an oncoming mudslide. 
Dude, there's so many Tohos on the field now. Let's go. We can get 7th place now. Whoa. Uh -oh. That was a little that's a little bit of a messed up thing. Oh, this is kind of a fucked up course to begin with. Dude, this is like Rainbow Road. This is Rainbow Road for Toho. Also, no problem, Eli. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Where have I heard this melody before? It's from the fucking Scout YTPMV! Fuck's sake. Oh my god. Fucking Scout. <laughs> this is literally what I was thinking of. And like, not even like the actual song, just like the Scout YTPMV. This is based on a Chirno meme. Chira mi Miru. Now all I can hear is the scout in my ears going, Oh freaking run! Oh freaking run! Oh freaking run! Fuck's sake. TF2 like taught me everything I know. It all comes back to Team Fortress 2. Like literally. I need to stream TF2 again. Fuck's sake. I think we gotta do TF2 next week. Can I like also like say something and this is like this is like something I've kind of been keeping in my chest for a bit and I feel kind of bad saying it because it is like something that people were looking forward to me streaming I think because of how many breaks I've had to take between like Ace Attorney 3 I kind of don't even want to play it that much right now <laughs> Especially knowing that, like, the next case is, like, a two- at least a two-parter that's not very good. I'm kind of at a moment right now where I'm almost, like, I kind of want to put that series on, like, a little bit of a break. Because I almost feel like if I go back to it now, I kind of won't be in- in the mood. No shame in skipping. Well, it's not even, like, skipping the case. I'm just thinking, like, right now, I kind of just, like, don't want to play, like, Ace Attorney. <laughs> like, I feel like I, I feel like I wanted to, like, a couple months ago when I, like, started it. But now that we're, like, we only did, like, three parts and it's, like, two months later, I'm just kind of like, man, this feels like it's dragging on, even if it's just, like, mostly, like, scheduling problems. I've, I've been considering, like, dropping it from the docket, to be honest. I got first place. That was, like, the hardest map in the game. I got first place, first try. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Too bad. Looks like she's too dumb to fully call on her own power. Uh, you haven't seen the last of me. Oops, she got away. Let her go. Gensi Sokyo should return to normal soon enough. Oh, then we need to hurry, don't we? Hmm? F what for? What else? We need to make the most of these races while we still can. Is everyone ready? Love that they used Misty Lake this late in the game when the whole thing about Misty Lake in the beginning is that it's the second stage and has a boss where all you have to do to dodge one of her attacks is stand directly in front of her. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, that's the end of the game! Wait, we did it! We beat- we beat Gensio. Got Genso. Skydrift. Sorry, I said it wrong. Dude, production assistant Elo? That's the guy who extended Undertale. There's a second campaign? Oh, thank you for telling me, Noob Knot and, uh, Stellated Cube. Both first-time chatters. We could do the second campaign, then. How many- are there only two campaigns, or are there more than that? Might as well, this is only- this hasn't even been like two hours. Yeah, we could do the second one then. Let's do it. 
after this. This game looks fun. It is pretty fun, to be fair. Again, for anyone uh, not in the know, I've never played Toho before. <laughs> and I know this is not a... This is maybe not the craziest introduction to the series, but I'll take it. It's fun. Some tracks aren't in either. Two campaigns and some arcade-only tracks slash characters. Got it. That's good to know. Might as well, someone donated the money for me to get this, so... Dude, this end credits theme kinda goes off. This is the funniest way to get into it. After campaign, the game lacks single-player content. I mean, here, like, I'm a Mario Kart fan, so... This already beats the hell out of that. Beats the hell out of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Your single player content is that you can race on all the tracks. Forehead. Have fun doing that. Let's do campaign again. There's time attack and versus bad CPUs. <laughs> Took you long enough to reach me. Flipping for this Euro beat ass song. It's really good. Most of the game is played online. That's fair. That makes sense for like a kart racer. Hmm? Did you hear a voice just now? Must be your imagination. Anyways, about that rental bookstore. Hey, wait, it's me. Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. I almost cut you by reflex. Anyway, did you need something from us? Well, duh. Today's w the day we settle the bore. No, wait, what was it again? Settle the score. Yeah, that. I'm here to settle the score. Oh my, really now? That's nice of you. Then consider it settled. Okay, <laughs> bye. No, wait, get back here. Don't make fun of me. That's really good. It's a really good line. Oh, now I'm playing as a uh, Chirno and the other one. But yeah, just to tie up the loose end from earlier, I'm like. I, I, I guess I'll ask you guys. I'm assuming you guys would be fine with that anyways, but would you guys be okay if, like, Ace Attorney 3 took a break and we, like, did something else for a bit? Because, like, I don't know if my, like, heart's in it right now, and I don't feel like that's fair to it. Do what you need to do. Thank you. We will get back to it. I would like to beat that preferably before the end of the year. But it's it's one of those things where I'm I'm like I kind of feel like because of how spaced out it was. And yeah, I know people are not like super into case three of that game, which is the next one. Um, so maybe take we can all take some time to mentally prepare for when we come back and do that. But I've heard the final case of that game is really good. So when we eventually do get back to it, and we have to like go through that for a bit, like, at least we know there will be some gold at the end of the rainbow. But yeah, th thank you all for understanding. Thank, thank you all. It's 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 one of those things where it's like I feel bad dropping things because I always like get the idea where it's like oh people are gonna be like kind of disappointed. There's like people who are like legitimately excited to watch me like stream certain things, and when I kind of get like a little tired of them, I'm just like man, I feel so bad, and I shouldn't because it's my stream and I should do what's fun for me, and I think, like, people generally enjoy the stream more when I am doing stuff I enjoy, but 
I don't know. Being a streamer is weird. I won, by the way. Dude, am I, like, actually, like, getting kind of good at the game? That's the second race in a row we just did first try. Kind of popping off now. What will Lady Yuyoko say when she finds out I disturbed the village again? More importantly, you're up to something again, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm just here to help a fairy kill some time. Oh, we get to do this level. This level I might fuck up on. This one was hard. Hey, have you seen Sine? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Thanks anyways. Later. Bye-bye. Forgetting something? Oh, yeah, hey, let's fight. Huh? But it's a tag battle, right? Sine's not here. It's as dull as ever around here. I may as well go tease some Kappa. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Magical Peaches. Tenshi. Tenshi? Fucking hell. I only know Tenshi from the fucking Tony Zaret bits. God damn it. That's the first thing I think of when I think of Tenshi from Toho is fucking Tony Zaret. That's fucked up. I guess it's also probably time of the night where I should start getting quieter. What's the Tenshi Tony Zaret fit? There were like a few like Tenshi Tony Zaret fits. That's all that you think of too and you're a Toho fan. <laughs> She is a friend of yours favorite, so you immediately associate her with them. Mm -hmm. I kind of fucked up, but we have another lap at least. Maybe we could still bring it back. Bring it back home for the girls downtown. Do you just get more energy for, like, your attacks over time, or do you get them from the drift? I've been noticing it goes up sometimes, but I'm not sure if it's only when I'm doing the drift. Or obviously when I hit the rings also. That's, like, the biggest boost to it. Seems to be over time. Got it. Oh no. That's it. Solely over time, more with rings, faster the further back you are. Ooh, that's interesting. I got second. It's fine. We weren't gonna win three in a row. I'll take I'll take two in a row. Some characters get it faster than others. That's interesting. Chirmel gets it very slowly. <laughs> Character on bottom is the one that matters. Got it. But yeah, I think for next week, we will- I, I think we will cut Ace Attorney from the docket for now. But it'll be- it'll be back. It'll come back better than ever, but... I kind of want to start making preparations to do Pokemon Heart Gold. I think that's what I immediately want to follow, like, Trials of Mana up with. 
Like, I want to do Pokemon Heart Gold, and I think, like, before that, I would also like to do Legends Arceus post-game, because we still gotta get to that. I don't know if I'll do that next week, but, like, I would like to start that. I also, I, ha I have to finish the Mario Flash games that uh, Michael put together for the stream. Um, we might do more Balan. If, if I really I'd play it tomorrow and I'm like, you know what? This Balan ain't that bad. But I wanted to do, I need to do more Flash games. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do more of. It might have just been Mario Kart Wii, which I'm doing on Sunday. This Balan really do be wandering worlds. I fed someone a clock. I'm not really sure what the clock does. Genuinely excited to see the game. There's another Toho Metroidvania coming out this year, which is the remake you were thinking of. Ooh. See, I like this is easy for me to get into. I could not get into like a Metroidvania. I like I'm infamously terrible with Metroidvanias. Like if you guys ever want to see like a Metroidvania stream. Like, I'm so sorry, it's probably never gonna happen. I barely won that. I wonder if I would have even won that if Cherno didn't freeze that fool. I literally won by like... God, that's like... Almost negligent time. God, get me into Toho, man. God. I mean, we're getting closer to the end of, uh... All Pokemon games. I mean, we're like... Honestly, I would say we're more than halfway there. I mean, they keep making games, but, like, what do I have after, like, Heart Gold? Like, there's Black and White, Black and White 2, there's X and Y, there's Auras, there's Sun and Moon, and there's Let's Go, and that's, like, it. We have, like, s seven mainline games after this. And before someone says it, oh, what about Ultra Sun and Moon? Doesn't count. We're not doing Ultra Sun and Moon? I would be down to try Toho Mon. I also gotta do Pokemon Quartz, because I promised that. I have so many streams I promised that I still gotta do. But I think as we like free up the schedule, I we will do we will be able to do like a lot more of those streams I promised. Like I gotta do Action 52. I think like Action 52 has to happen like sooner rather than later. Hold on, I demand a rematch! A rematch! Nope, because I still gotta s settle some sores. Shard of Dreams is the most complete slash polished Toho Pokemon game. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. I would be down to try Toho Mon. Oh, welcome back, Sakuya. How odd to see you in the library, mistress. Damn, she said you dumb as hell. Just dealing with a little thief. <laughs> Busted. Excuse me, got a score to, score to saddle. Really now? Good, I was just getting bored. Over here, Sakuya. Um, I hate to say this, mistress, but actually I have another partner for today. What? Is that allowed? Hey, can you let me go now? Like, seriously, let me go? Oh, this is just perfect then. Oh, we got like different, we got like different pairs of racers now. That's cool. Yeah, I was like, when I was testing this game just to make sure it ran okay on my computer, which like, listen, this game has kind of run like near perfectly on my machine. Like if you, if you wanna get this game, like, it, and you have like a low end machine, it can probably run it. This does not seem like a very intensive game at all.
Well, this is like a new map layout too. Like this is a similar theme to an earlier level, but it's like different layout. Oh, I'm also kind of, kind of losing. Dude, again, like, this OST rules. The performance you expect from a 2014 Unity indie game? I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I have, like, a pretty dumpy PC, so I'm always, like, a little worried, like, oh, what if this doesn't run well? I mean, it's not, it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. I can run Sonic Forces. I can't stream Sonic Forces. But I was able to run it on my own, so I don't have, like, the worst machine in the world. It's just, like, the game needs to be a little dumpy. Also makes it a breeze to mod. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man, I didn't even consider that this game would have, like, crazy modding stuff. That could be a lot of fun. Kart Racer mods are, like, really fun. I've always wanted to do, like, Mario Kart mods and stuff. Does this game have, like, a workshop page? Or do you have to, like, go on, like, Game Banana or something? I mean, that's fine if you do, but I'm kind of curious. I won that first try. I'll take it. It's a clean victory. By the way, that... Uh, Amana Jocko's up to something again, isn't she? Dev doesn't allow mods, but the community does it anyways. Damn. Why would they not allow mods? Mostly on Shinten.moe. Got it. Oh, would you like to join us then? You were bored, weren't you? It's always weird when, like, devs don't, like, mods of their games. I, I don't know, we've gotten, like, I, I guess this is also coming from the perspective of someone who's, like, been a Valve fan for years. It's, like, so weird to me when companies are, like, so, like, allergic, or, like, devs are so allergic to the idea of mods. Because, like, some of, some of the best games we've gotten came from mods. Dude, I, I'm pretty sure Half-Life 1 is just made on, uh, what was it? It was made on, like, Qu the Quake engine. Also, Jen, there are no girls in this game, sorry. What's with the weird dance? H how rude! The master ordered me to take dance lessons from her. Hmm, I see some potential in you. Um, could you all stop staring at me? <laughs> it's like the octopus dance. Jeez, what the heck? If you're picking a fight, you've got one. Great, more doors need rattling. Okay, we're at the mushroom house again. There's tracks from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? That's really funny. We gotta get- you gotta get, like, Coconut Mall in here, now that that's in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, I guess- I guess I can't blame the dev too much if, uh, that's the first thing people thought of when they thought, like, modding this game. I don't know, even then, I don't, like, as much as that's not great, I would not, like, close the door on mods just because of that. Dude, like, Stardew modding would be, like, completely, it would, like, evaporate. You know how many, like, sex mods there are for Stardew Valley? There's enough that if I mentioned, uh, like, a bunch of them on stream, I would probably get taken down from Twitch. Do not hit the clock. Stardew Valley modding so scary. 
It was, like, taken out of context, but it's still, like, really funny that, like, Travis McElroy just had, like, a mod with, like, a sexy minotaur in Stardew Valley. Like, I know, like, I know it was, like, for, like, a, it was, like, a silly mod stream to begin with, but I'm also, like, holy shit, dude. I don't know if I, like, if I was gonna do a silly mod stream of a game, I don't know if I could, like, in my right mind do, like, a sex mod. Or, like, a mod that has, like, horny intentions. I respect the boldness, though. So where's Reimu, anyways? Who knows? Oh, actually, I did see her with y Yukari recently. They said they were heading underground. Does Final Fantasy XIV- What am I saying? Of course Final Fantasy XIV has a bunch of, like, not safe for work mods. It's Final Fantasy XIV. I feel like- I feel like there, like, Final Fantasy XIV doesn't feel like a game that, like, is, like, super horny. I could be wrong. I've never played it, but it feels like it would attract, like, a horny audience. You know what I mean? Like, it's a not horny game with a horny audience. Are you sure no one will discover this? I told you it's fine. You're such a worrywart. <laughs> Found ya. <sighs> oh, it's just a fairy. What do you want? Surprise, I'm here to paddle the core. Oh, wait, I never fought you two. I'm not sure what it is you want, but I show no mercy to anyone who stands in my way. Ooh, that sounds fun. I want in. Think you're scared? Yeah, all right. This is like a PG-13, so there's probably like we should probably like f come up with a new topic aside from talking about horny mods for video games. Uh, let's talk about the weather, y'all. What's the weather like where you are? Put it in the comments below. It's fucking humid here, and it sucks. Humid weather is like. Satan's, like, asshole. Genuinely. It's the worst shit in the world. This is a new level also. I don't even think we've gotten a level with this theme, or I might just be forgetting a level. There's a lunar eclipse on the 15th? Ooh. That's cool. We want to stay up on my stream and watch the lunar eclipse. We won't even play a video game. It's humid, but foggy, and you like fog. <laughs> First track with this theme? Yeah. That's what I figured. Because it seemed like all new. The sake gourd bottles. So I got. I'm not saying this character's name right at all. So I got. Whole thing is that she's drunk on it. I'm down to just do more chill streams. I feel like, I, I feel like, especially because I got, like, so many big projects in the work, I'm, like, good for just doing a bunch of chill streams this summer. Soika. Got it. Soika. I'm currently losing. Actually, I'm not doing terribly. I could be doing worse. All things considered. I'm not first, but I ain't last. Do my double cards. A sweet. Oh, I didn't realize there's a top hat, dude. Dude, these race courses are like. Really well designed, honestly. I really like a lot of these courses. 
I kind of also like that this game doesn't, like, lean too heavily on, like, three lap courses exclusively. And, like, kind of switches it up. I mean, this was obviously, um, three laps, but you know what I mean. Um, we got first again. I'll take that. So, what'd you want, anyway? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Underground City? Okay, this is themed like the Hell level. <laughs> to think this was hidden underground. Truly fascinating. What will they come up with next? This is me when I play Undertale. <laughs> this is all Oku's power, too. So if you were my pet, maybe you could. Get out of here, Reimu. Oh, jeez, it's hot. Reimu? She's not here. Oh, if it isn't the fairy. What gumption to settle thine accounts thusly. <laughs> Looks like everything's ready. Now fight like usual. Best track? This is the best track in the game? I'm excited. Thou art wilting. Hey, come on, I said it's too hot. Ooh. Oh my god, it's like a fucking roller coaster. I've like said this before on stream, but I, I want to mention it again. When I was a kid, like, me and my, like, sister had like a specific, like, category of Mario Kart levels that we considered, like, roller coasters. And I could not tell you what, like, the requirements to be a roller coaster level were. But I could tell you that, like, Wario's gold mine was absolutely, like, uh, like a roller coaster level to us. I feel like this game, or this course, would have been considered a roller coaster. This has, like, roller coaster vibes. Yeah, no, if, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, like, given this was my own arbitrary requirement as a kid, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna assume like roller coaster levels are just like levels that like if they had at like an amusement park it would make sense good to learn shortcuts interesting corner cuts on every corner easier alternatives for the cuts and not too long to be chaotic but allowing chaotic play get decimated kid Ooh. Yeah, I'm not great at cutting the corners right there. Or right now. But I can always get better. Ow. Okay, I fucked that up. Dude, I'm in seven. I didn't even know there were seven people angry at Cherno right now. Or I guess, like... I guess it would be 12 for six times two. Okay, everybody freeze now. I think everyone's angry at her right now. Damn, Cherno's got it so fucking hard. Everybody's just like really like we can't stand this kid. This is Rainbow Road from Hell. Oh, like the Misty Lake was like absolutely just like Rainbow Road. Come on, boost. I didn't get the boost in time. That's fine. We got second on our first try, uh, but we have to do it again. That's fine, that was a very fun level. Please unnerf clown keys. Oh my god. I'm fucking up so bad already. I gotta start using my spell cards. It's something I'm still not great at, is uh, doing the spell cards at, like, the proper time. But I've come so far.
you mess up at the start, it doesn't matter. The AI rubber bands a lot. I, I figured that, to be honest. But I didn't- I, it's one of those things where I feel like if I accuse the AI of rubber banding, and it's not actually true, I just sound kind of like an asshole. Where it's like, oh, the game's- the game's rubber banding is, like, cheating. You know what I mean? I have- I have a chronic disease where I have to be literally as fair to a video game as possible. And I mean, rubber banding isn't, like, the worst thing to deal with, but... I mean, hell, it's not- it's not- this is not, like, when I think of, like, really bad rubber banding, I think of, like, Sonic Rivals. Sonic Rivals is a video game where you literally always win by the skin of your teeth. Because, like, if you get, like, five seconds ahead of, like, an opponent, they'll just fucking zip right next to you. You know, everybody's favorite racing game, Sonic Rivals. It's like, Sonic Rivals is one of the first, um... Not first, but only PSP games I've played. I never- I never played much on the PSP. You can use the cradle to jump over gaps. Got it. Nope. I needed the cradle. Yeah, we lost. Lost this one. Fine, third time's the charm. Like that little guy has become gender neutral recently? Well, I mean, everybody has a birthday. And you wouldn't hit a little guy on their birthday, would ya? You played on a pretty small penis? Mods ban? Mods remove message? Mods ban? Mods someone stop this? This is targeted harassment of the highest order? Thou art a stooge of the highest order for saying something like that to me, number one Twitch streamer. I have I have over 5 million subscribers on this website. I'm even more watched than Ninja or, or Dream. And you would say these things on my sacred stream? Saying that I played on a pretty small penis? Come on. Come on. Seriously, like, I, exp I expect better of chat. Pretty small penis. Come on, come on. This is just this is just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing for you guys, honestly. Okay, since there are some like experts on this game in the crowd, if you like lose enough at the races, does like the AI adjust to make it easier for you, or do I literally just keep getting lucky on the third race? It feels like the AI has to like being like adjust. I didn't say that right. Yes, okay. I figured. Because there was like... It felt like there was like a noticeable like gap between me and the other uh, Tohos. When I was... I, I, whenever I got to like third race. Which I am right now. Playing this race course real great. That's good to know. That's kind of appreciated. Makes makes it so you don't get stuck for too long. I think it's interesting when like games have that kind of like scaling AI rather than like, you know, an easy, medium, or hard mode. From what I've heard, Resident Evil 4 has something like that. Is that true? Does, like, Resident Evil have, like, AI that scales with the difficulty? Or, like, you know, scales the difficulty based on your performance? Ugh, I had to do most of that myself. Oh, is that a hole in the molten rock? Whoa, where are we? <laughs> How did you all get here? All right, finally, I did it. The outside world. I'm free, baby. Oh, I see. 
All that's left is to get rid of these nuisances. Let's do this, fairy. I don't really get it, but you mean a race, right? Woo! Oh, have I been evil the whole time? Dude, this is Stardust Speedway from Sonic CD. Okay, this song kinda fucking owns? What the fuck? A cool level, too. I got stuck in the cube. Also, no, I have not played Guitaru Man. But maybe one day. I've heard, like, it's pretty comparable to, like, Parappa. Which, you know, I'm a big- I'm a big Parappa head. You like some certain arcade-only tracks? Ooh. Yeah, we gotta try- We gotta try the, uh, other arcade tracks. I think this is Sumi Rako's team. Sumi Rako is basically Silver the Hedgehog. Parappa if you were having a stroke during the cutscenes. So Um Jammer Lammy. They made that. That's called Um Jammer Lammy. The cutscene where she dies, she slips on a banana peel and dies and goes to hell. Do you love this track? Do you wish it went on for way too long and was more boring? You'll love RDA. Oh boy. Um, Jammer Lammy is like the uh, the video game with a plot closest to like a creepy pasta. I think. Like you have that segment where you have to like where you like go to hell. Um. There's also like the cutscene with Paul Chuck. Where she's at, she's like asking him, like, "Oh, please help me make, help me get a guitar. I really need to get a guitar for my show." And then Paul Chuck just pulls out a fucking chainsaw and was like, "You said you'd do anything, didn't you?" Like he was gonna fucking kill her. Can't even get past the tutorial in Um Jammer Lammy. It's fucking dope. Um Jammer Lammy is like probably up there with some of my favorite games ever made. I got first, first try, let's go. It's got it all right, wrong. This is just an artificial space. What? No way. Crushed. I like that they, like, they have to do the emotes through, like, text because, um, you know, they're, they're, they only got the one portrait. Which is, like, fair. This is, like, a small indie game. They don't have to go out of their way to make, like, a million fucking portraits. Especially for a kart racer single player, but, you know. It's funny. Yep, magic was leaking out and showed up in people's a mind's eye. <laughs> so I came to investigate along with Nui, since she knows a lot about transformations. And I think Reimu went with Yukari to the bamboo thicket. Bamboo. Gotcha. Let's go. Moonlight bamboo thicket. Endings and beginnings are often linked. In other words, an entrance is likely to appear here. Great. Just do your thing. Found her. Raymu. Huh? What's with the crowd? <laughs> Time to shuttle my oar. Worst track? Don't at me? Uh-oh. Could we... Whatever that is later, now's not a good time. Hey, she's running! Then we, we're gonna chase. Oh my god. What are these circles? I 
don't know. I think if you're like a big circle fan, this track's kind of awesome. This is so great. This like if you're into like a track that looks like I don't know, like DNA, it's pretty solid. I can't even be mad at this track design because it's kind of it's kind of making me lose it that it's a bunch of circles. Go left quickly on the big circle. Oh shit! I did not do that. That's good to note though. That's good pat. Doing okay. Okay, we go left. Oh my god, you were right. We're in the lead. I feel like I did not do that as efficiently as I could, but we're still in the lead, so it's fine. No! Oh my god, no! No, and no, no! That was cruel. That was fucked up. Ah. Uh. I'm sad. I'm getting pushed. Yeah, this is kind of a dopey level, but also kind of funny. It's like funny enough where I'm not even mad, but I am a little befuddled. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. That's fine. I'm still in the lead. I'm still in second. just boring competitively, but otherwise is serviceable. Yeah, I can see that. 100%. Especially because I do, like, again, I do think this game has, like, a lot of, like, very interesting map design. Uh, this one is, like, very unremarkable. <laughs> Hey, I, that was second try? I didn't do that bad. Jeez, fine, you can come with us. Huh? For what? It's open. Now go. They just said, what if it was circles, literally? Sea of Tranquility? Whoa, it's like a theme park. W what is this place? Welcome to Lunar Wonderland. Oh, hey, it's Peace. You made all this? Sheesh, do you even realize how many complaints I've gotten? Tear this down now. She built, like, a, a amusement park on the moon? <laughs> wow, a single fairy did all this? That miracle mallet is incredible. Don't talk like it's someone else's problem. Huh? Oh, it's my dearest sister, Remy. Flan? But why? What are you... She looked bored, so I took her with me. I see. So the Amajako... Amano Jaco was taking advantage of the leaking energy. 
I suppose there's a that's a rebellion of sort. There's a Soviet flag clown piece skin you can unlock online. That's really fun. Someone like mentioned that earlier that there was like a communist like clown piece skin. <laughs> hey, aren't amusement parks the best? Which part should I break first? Whatever, let's race. Sheesh, what is with these people? Clown Pieces confirmed the first communist Toho character. I don't know if that's actually true. I don't know if Zana has disclosed the uh, political affiliations of the Toho characters. But, like, statistically, like, probably at least one. No, do your blast. There's Mei Ling, which has a certain cap with a star. Okay, I'm like a history dipshit. Should I be worried? A-F-I-E-O has showed some political views of the characters. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty good banshee i gotta admit that one's pretty good man this is this is a dicey topic we're literally talking about politics on stream that's like one of the that's like one of the top like twitch.tv sins is that you're not supposed to talk about it on stream uh you should all go and vote for Heath Ledger Joker in the election. Let's go. If we have enough of us vote for Heath Ledger, Ledger Joker, the United States of America has no choice but to acknowledge him as their new senator of some place. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter which state. I don't know, one thing I will say, that might, this might, this is getting, like, extremely dicey, but one last thing I will say in terms of, like, talking about politics, I think it was really funny, like, during, like, it, it feels like it happens, like, every election now, where people will talk about, like, oh my god, do not vote for joke candidates, do not vote for these nuts, otherwise your candidate is gonna lose. Like, dude, the United States, like, electoral system is already rigged. It doesn't matter. Like, five people writing in, like, Heath Ledger Joker doesn't make a difference. For the big gap at the end, you can float over the big coin. That's good path. Alright, now for the rest of the stream, nobody's allowed to bring up anything political. There'll be no talk about Joe Biden, no Donald Trump. The only politician you're allowed to talk about is, uh, I don't know, someone in chat come up with who's the funniest politician that could be unbanned. Yeah, say goodbye to the boo-boo bears. I mean, listen, I don't think anybody here has delusions of me being anything but a leftist. Xbox Live? Yeah, Xbox Live is everybody's favorite politician. Faze Obama. Yeah, Faze member Obama. You're allowed to mention him. I got stuck on a wall. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Since there are new people, I will talk about this again. Because it's like one of the funniest things in the world. Like, there is like... Like, there is a fucking YouTube channel that like one of my friends discovered that was like insanely funny to me 
where it was this, like, Pokemon Showdown channel. But, like, the gimmick was that the person who was playing was doing a bit where they were pretending to be Richard Nixon. And they were pretending like they were Richard Nixon who never died. And, like, on top of, like, uploading Pokemon Showdown videos, they would also upload historical footage of, like, Richard Nixon. Like, I am not exaggerating. There is, li like, literally interspersed in this Pokemon Showdown channel based on Richard Nixon. There's also just, like, historical footage of Richard Nixon. It's, like, probably one of the funniest, like, YouTube channels in the world, and it's so, like, befuddling. And from what I can tell, the guy who runs it, like, or ran it, because it doesn't, like, it doesn't upload anymore, but I think the guy who runs it, like, makes his money, like, doing merchandise, because he, like, advertised the store on this channel, and it has, like, 200 designs and shit. Like, I think, I think the dude who runs the Richard Nixon, like, Pokemon Showdown channel is, like, probably doing fine for himself. He has, like, it seems like he has, like, a decently popular merch store on, like, Redbubble or whatever it was. And it's just, like, really fucking funny to me. <laughs> there you go, there's- that's- that's that. That's that. But I could actually win. Like, gaming during the Clinton years. Gaming in the Clinton years is classic. Fucking George Wood. I love how t terrible, like, George Wood's, like, criticisms are. But I also, I think, like, my favorite George Wood moment is when he's, like, reviewing Earthbound, and he basically gets to the core of what's appealing on that game. Like, he, he's like, oh, the, graf the graphics are, like, kind of old, but it's very charming. You know? He, like, he, like, understood the appeal of Earthbound probably more than, like, a lot of people who were playing at the time. Also, thank you, thank you. All right, I win. Good. I couldn't escape this world, but whatever. I win. Go me. Yeah, yeah, glad you're happy. Now show's over. And take this down. Now, now, Reimu. No need to be so grumpy. Come to think of it, you've been pretty calm this whole time. Of course. After all, they did us a favor by channeling the Mallet's remaining energy into this. Say what you will about politics, but, Ob but Trump did say, Obama, and Joe Biden said, Soda! I'm like, I, there's like a Twitter account called like, Crazy Ass Moments in American Politics. And like, like... They posted the Joe Biden soda clip, and I guess I wasn't expecting it just to be him saying Minnesota. I just thought, for some reason in my mind, I genuinely believed that, like, Joe Biden in, like, a political rally was, like, hyping people up on soda. Like, that- like, that would have been, like... I, like, that- like, that's, like, honestly almost less weird than him s screaming Minnesota. Cause poli politics are fucking crazy, man. Fair enough. Reimu, sounds like they're going to start another race. Come on, hurry up! I'm going to show you against Yoko's fastest. Now hold up, I'm not going to stand by and let a mere fairy claim that title. Fine, fine, just one more. New soda called Obama. Oh, and credits again? We did it! I thought we were gonna do more and more race, but no, we won again. Basically what happened with the Toho AF IEU that was mentioned above with the soda. Soda! Oh, we got some arcade exclusive tracks to check out. And apparently some arcade exclusive characters. Well, this is a fun game. This is a really fun game. This game, like, if you're a Toho fan and or Kart Racer fan, this gets my recommendation. I mean, what? I got this on sale for, like, eight bucks? After someone paid me? <laughs> Three arcade tracks and mods. Got it. We can do that. 
there like online for this game or no? I wanna I wanna get my ass kicked online. Like when I played Mario Kart Wii. Two characters that we waited one plus year to be implemented? Oh my god. There is online, got it. For context, AFIEU stands for Alternative Facts and Eastern Utopia. It's a book where Aya, the lap girl in this game, goes around spreading misinformation. <laughs> Damn. So I have like a million Discord notifications. What's good right now? Yeah, we could do some arcade tracks and do online. Joining online lobbies is a bit of a hassle, though. Oh. Uh, um, is it free run for the arcade? Oh, we got all the characters now. When I when I tested this on my own, I didn't have any characters. Okay, you two are new. I don't recognize you two. It's versus. Free run is time attack. Got it. Oh, we could play as these two. What are the new tracks? Heaven! <gasps> I'm in heaven? Alice and or or just Rin are new. Got it. Oh my god! Oh my god, you're right! I remember that! That's what- I, like, brought that up earlier in the stream, where I was like, one of the things I know about Toho is like, the fan songs, and I remember the one that's like, Why don't I miss you forever? Also, sorry, I'm tone deaf. It's fine. Yeah, Marissa stole the precious thing. See, I know that. God, I can't imagine- like, I feel like if you- like, played, like, a bunch of, like, Toho fan songs to me, I would be like, oh my god, I've heard this before. Someone, like, made a joke Tumblr post that was, like, Toho fans have already produced, like, 40% of all art that will ever be made, but I'm kind of convinced it's true. I feel like I've been exposed to so much Toho over the years, and, like, sometimes I just, like, I get, like, exposed to it, and I'm just like, whoa, I remember this, what the hell? Like, most- like, pretty much all of these, like, character designs are, like, pretty, like, familiar to me, even if I didn't, like, recognize their names. Black Midi's origin is just people making Toho fan music, and now it's an actual music genre? That's crazy. That's awesome, though. Toho fandom literally rules the world. Most zero beats is also Toho? That rules. No, you're in front of me. Get away. Stop. Get some help. I didn't know I could go over those. Let's go. I got hit by gay laser. Killing you with perfect laser. Toho has 17 main series games spanning from the goddamn PC-98 to modern day, now counting all the spinoffs. Yeah, I knew about, like, the main series. Does, like, Zun have, like, involvement in any Toho projects aside from main series? I'm actually, like, curious. Oh, there's 18 main series games now? Damn.
and then redevelopment area A and B. For sure he does? I'm just like curious which ones. The point five games, the manga, and one fan game from forever ago. Get involvement in a couple of fan games, for example, against Yoko Mahjong. Okay, I'm sorry to use the word again, but based as fuck. Making one of the one of the projects you work on with your series be a, a Mahjong fan game. That's so good. This means that the the Toho Mahjong game is more canon than this. Pretty involved with character portrayal and stuff like mangas from what you've read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything I've heard about Zun makes him, like, seem like a really cool guy. Like, the, the kind of dude that I would, like, want to meet at a bar specifically so I can pass him a drink and be like, my man, come over here. This game has music track composed by the same person that worked on the Point Five game. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm going backwards. Wait. I'm a dipshit. <laughs> Sun has already had enough drinks? Okay. I'll pa I'll pass him like a like a water. Yeah, I have completely uh fucked this up. Though again, like the rubber band AI I might be able to catch up. Had a live stream where Zun reacted to someone doing a crazy shortcut in Skydrift. That's awesome! Wait, that's awesome to hear, actually. Dude, this guy is like a legend. Oh, you know what? I had the right idea. But I'm not quite there with executing it yet. Got the chance once to stream a tournament on Toho Station and had the main devs, Zun, and company just sitting there. That's really good. That's that's the kind of thing I love to hear, genuinely. God, that's like a mortifying ordeal for me also, though. The idea that one day, like, a dev of, like, a video game that I'm playing on stream could, like, or, like, even just, like, a, or, like, I guess Zun wasn't a dev on this game necessarily, but he did create the series. That's, like, that's, like, horrifying to me. It's like, oh, what if I say, like, one too many fuck words? And, and the person who made the game is just like, man, this streamer sucks. They don't know anything. That would be terrible. I don't, I, I could never recover. What if it, what if they do what the Stanley Parable devs did to Jerma and they put like a hint for him on their website? I'd never live it down. Jerma could live it down because he has like a million wacky things he does, but me? Absolutely not. That would be my impact on Twitch.tv. that out after the stream. That's cool as hell.
want to be a medium timer game dev, you want your stuff to be known, but you want to be able to show up in places and be like, hi dev in chat. <laughs> Dude, I fucking suck at these redevelopment levels. Like, actually, like, terrible at these levels. Like, the heaven level I adjusted to really quickly, these, like, redevelopment levels are, like, no dice. I gotta use my spell cards more, probably. Redev sucks on first playthroughs. Got it. Just process that they're in a modern city. Does, like, Toho not take place in, like, the modern day? When does, like, Toho take place? I never actually thought about it. I guess they are, like... Or, like, one of them's, like, a shrine maiden. When does Toho take place? Google.com, when does Toho take place? few videos of you being extremely terrible on this track a few minutes after release. <laughs> it happens. Modern day in an I isolated bubble of space takes place in a dream world. Okay. Rinosuke literally gets a Game Boy. Difficult question to answer. It depends on what content you refer to. Bubble was separated from Main World in 1885. Got it. Man, I feel like I'm going out of my way to use the spell cards more, and I'm still, like, super behind. Hard level. Want Shirno to play Dark Souls? We're talking about music CDs. They are near future for the most part, while the first music CD was long ago. Games are set in the year they release. Okay. That's interesting. Ow. Shirno would play Dark Souls and immediately walk off a cliff. Dude, the shields. That's like such devious shield placement. I lost a lot. Nice. Let's see how the online works. Let's see if anyone's on free. Oh, you have to make a room. Unless you're doing rank match? Okay. Well, whoever I get on rank match is gonna beat my ass. But that's fine. I wonder how many people are, like, playing this game online right now. I also just checked uh, the stream Discord, um, and I saw I see the clown piece. Um, oh, hi, noob, not welcome. I see the uh, clown piece communism skin. You know, when it was described to me, I guess I wasn't expecting that she'd literally just have like the hammer and sickle on her. That's really funny. That was not what my mind immediately went to. I was like. Okay, so she probably has like the red and the yellow in her color scheme. No, it's literally the 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 Soviet Union flag. <laughs> Guess you shouldn't go too far. Don't worry about it. Listen, listen. I can take losses with stride. I'm not- I'm not a sore loser like a lot of- a, like a lot of people. I can take BL. 
Except when it comes to Pokemon, if I lose at Pokemon, everything crashes down on my life. How can I not be better at someone than Pikachu? What the hell? I'm curious to see what you do. Ooh. You're already going kind of crazy. Doing some like sharp turns that I'm not capable of doing. Or in saturation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of Rins. Is her name Orin? I thought it was just Rin when I read it in game, but is it Orin? Online status of game is there. Ooh. Oh, I gotta use my spells. Orin is a nickname. Oh. Okay. Rin is her name, but Orin is her nickname. Got it. <laughs> I'm getting- I'm getting my ass beat by the two cats. Oh my god. I like it though. This game seems to have like a very high like skill ceiling. Like, I wouldn't even say, like, th this game's, like, not too hard to get into, but once you do, like, there's, like, a huge, like, skill ceiling you can reach. Which is, like, really good to see. Maybe I'll replay some Toho games next week or whenever classes will be over by then. Mm-hmm. quite hard to get into. Maybe I'm just- um, maybe I'm coming from the perspective of someone who already likes kart racers. <laughs> to be fair. Drifting alone takes a lot to understand. Mm -hmm. Top players have many thousands of hours in the game. That's wild. Okay, I got C minus. Let's go. I'll take C minus. Metal Alice, ooh. I'm having fun, this is a fun game. Time to show the flag, let's go. How do you, like, can you, like, switch characters when you're, like, in the lobby already, or do you have to wait? Oh my god, yes, I can see it. Yeah, you're free to, like, talk about the mechanics, I'm, like, curious. Okay, I'm not dead last. That's better than I thought I'd be doing. I am dead last now, but I wasn't dead last the whole race. And that means something. Like, I have, I have, I have to stress this. One of my favorite things about, like, doing, like, variety streams on Twitch.tv is whenever I get, like, introduced to, like, a new, like, s like, niche, like, community that's, like, super passionate about a game I'm playing, like, is literally, like, the best feeling in the world. I love, like, interacting with all these, like, little, small, like, very tight-knit, like, niche communities that are, like, it's just, it's just nice to see. I enjoy it a lot. So, hi, Morgan. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this is- this- this really does, like, remind me of Sonic Riders quite a bit. It's 
Sonic Riders mixed with Mario Kart Double Dash. I still think this is easier to get into than uh, Sonic Riders. I still contend contest that much. Emu Riders Double Dash. Yeah, Sonic Riders is like so fucking hard to get into. It's awesome when you do, but oh my god, that like that like it, like it's not a skill gap. It's like you're either like you if you suck at the game, like that's it is over for you. I don't think people would question you playing Sonic Riders as much as this game if they walked in on you playing. I guess. I guess that's true. In terms of, like, the the weird things that are happening on screen, like, Sonic Riders is probably a bit more normal. But also, like, I feel like if someone knows video games, they could probably more easily understand what the fuck's happening here. I'm hitting into walls. That's fine. I mean, I played Sonic Riders as a kid, and it was one of those things where I played it so much that eventually I did adjust to its, like, very odd mechanics. And I got, like, good at it. And I was able to, like, unlock the, all the characters and shit. I remember Eggman on the bike. I thought that Eggman on the bike was, like, so funny. Sonic is also available as a character with mods, but it's Sonic R Sonic. That's awesome, though. I love low poly Sonic. Yeah, we talked about the Nick Brawl uh, DLC earlier. It was cool. We got more people going in. Oh my god. I'm gonna embarrass myself in front of all of these Toho heads. They're gonna be like, who the hell is this Morgan BRB person? This fucking, this fucking kid's terrible at the game. It's like, <laughs> drifting reduces the amount of deceleration and acceleration you received, so you need to drift almost certainly to maintain a boost for, or almost constantly to maintain a boost for longer. Got it. But not drift into a ring as that reduces your speed. That's good to know. Okay, because I've just been kind of like drifting all over the place, including into the rings. That's good to know. Oh my god, this person is named Toho Head too. Or Two Who Head. <laughs> Always a welcome sight to see new players. Hell yeah. And welcome, first time chatter crabfish. Welcome. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this a lot. I like me- I like me a good kart racer, and this is like- This is fulfilling that for me. This is fun. I may not be good at it, but that's fine. Nobody ever came to Morgan stream for watching me play games good. And if you did, I'm sorry I've been disappointing you for like the past three and a half years. Although I have said I've wanted to get into speedrunning for a bit. I've been, like, trying to figure out what game I would want to speedrun. And I think what it comes down to is if I was going to speedrun any game, I think at this point the most fun thing for me would be Sonic Adventure, Sonic Story. Like, I think if I was to get into speedrunning, that would be the one I want to do. And that's, like, a pretty decently beefy one, I think. You know, that's... I think when I did it as, like, the casual one, that took, like a little over an hour, but if I could get that sub one hour, uh, that would be pretty sick, to be fair. I don't know, being a variety streamer is like, there's so many things I want to do, I would play every game forever, if I could. I like video games. Sorry guys, I have to admit, as a video game streamer, I like video games.
currently dead last, but that's fine. I'm catching up on someone. Whoa, I don't even know what's going on here. If you count your join me streams, you've been streaming for 10 years. I feel that. I've, like, going off of my, like, livestream.com days, I've been streaming for over 10 years. And it's, like, so fucked up. And, I mean, basically, for the majority of that time, I have been streaming near exclusively for my friends, but... I still, like, crazy. I don't enjoy video games. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is- I'm sure this is like a really disappointing stream to you, man. The game has to be like being kind right now. The- the C+. Can't believe Skydrift's top player doesn't enjoy video- Is Mega Mia one of the top players of this game? We got top player in chat? That's wild. Hell yeah. You stream for your friends, to be honest. You just happen to do it on Twitch.tv. You're rated top one? That's wild. Hell yeah. Versus people with way more points. <laughs> Mia is current number one. That's wild. Well, welcome. Sorry that you have to watch this. This gameplay. <laughs> Just got it a few hours ago. Oh my god, that's wild. You'll accompany me in last though. Perhaps you can show me some things anyways. Thank you. Again, I said it before. This is my favorite part of like streaming like stuff like this is like discovering these like niche communities and seeing like how passionate it is it's, it makes me happy genuinely you reached number one today that's wild how many like how many points is that Whew, i keep falling off the stage i told you like the misty the misty lake one is like so hard for me this is like my rainbow road Sixteen point four million? Damn. Holy shit, that's wild. Ow. It's me, me and you noob not. Sorry that I keep falling off the stage. Probably should be using the break a little more to like actually break. I keep just careening off the edge. And like not in a way where I gracefully land somewhere, I just I just keep falling. I gotta be using items more. What am I thinking? Do this more also? Seventeen thousand races? Oh my god. That's dedication. I respect that. Oh, oh if I just like yeah, for real, congrats. That's a that's a crazy achievement. That's dope. Oh my god, explosions. Oh wait, I saw you just like use the air really well there. You went you like jump. I finished last, but it's fine. <laughs> I 
this last by like nearly a whole minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry to these people in the lobby that have to wait like a minute for me to uh, get all the way to the end. You can bypass like 50% of the track on Misty Lake. Got it. Something to learn for sure. 30 seconds? Oh my god. Seventeen thousand races is a good play too. Most people take more. Yeah. Yeah. Minute is calculated based on distance. Normal to wait a while when new players are in fairy break, so don't worry. I appreciate that. Thank you, Somboot, for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, I should say this also, since I am seeing more new faces, uh, this is also- Not only is this my first time playing this game, this is like my first real Toho experience. Again, I don't remember how we got to this, but it was like during my Mario Flash game stream, where someone mentioned there was like a Toho kart racer, and I was like, hey, if someone just donates the money for it, I will just buy it, and someone did, and I was like, okay. So I played it. And it's fun. I'm having a good time with this. So much Alice? Yeah, I'm noticing that. There's a lot of Alice love right now. I, I know a bunch of people who are, like, into the Toho series. This is... I don't know, it's one of those things where it's like, I have such, like, a weird taste in video games. I guess this could be the only way I was fully introduced to a series like this. Hey, at least I don't think I'm as far behind. Comparatively. This is your first Toho game too? Hell yeah. We'd love to hear it. knew the series before, but never delved into it too much until you got into this community. Hell yeah. Yeah, I I know so many people who are, like, super into Toho. And, like, I've always been curious. It's always been one of those things where it's like, oh, this looks really cool. I'd love to get into this one of these days. And it's just, I never bit the bullet and actually did it. Now my friends are telling me, yeah, you should try Toho Mon. <laughs> Which is probably like the, the the second way you can get me into this series. I think your first game was either 6 or a fan game called Mystical Chain. Ooh. I wasn't as behind on that one. Although that didn't seem to have as many crazy shortcuts as uh Misty Lake. Hey, I'm C rank? Why is there so much Alice? <laughs> Puppet dance performance is really high quality too, hell yeah. Hello, uh, Kat Choco. Uh, first time chatter, welcome. It's comfy to wait and do the shortcuts in front of you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sorry that I'm not always catching them, because I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, slow on the uptake, but... Yeah, we're in, we're in, like, the Alice fan club right now. People are loving her right now. Ooh. I tried, I tried to glide, to save myself. Not even to do a shortcut, just to save myself from being clumsy. Oh well. 
That time I glided a little bit. The red arrow definitely does help. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, forehead. <laughs> I feel like 2021, or not, no, this is 2022. I feel like 2022 thus far has been the year of me, like, rediscovering my love for, like, kart racers and stuff. Like, I mean, we're getting the Mario Kart DLC. I played Mario Kart Wii again very recently. I played, like, Sonic and All-Stars Racing this year, and that was really fun. I've been playing this. Kart racers are good. This is a fucking good genre. No shortcuts to show here. Understandable. When's the Kirby Air Ride stream? That's a good question. I would actually be down to do that, to be honest. If I could get, like... If I could get, like, net play going for Kirby Air Ride, that could be kind of crazy. We could all do City Trial. Oh, dude, I have, like, five- I have, like, five Steam notifications. Most of them are cards. Someone messaged me. I'm so sorry to the person who messaged me. I have my Steam on Do Not Disturb. You get a track that you can OOB on, you will. Hell yeah. I got two Undong and Yumu cards. Let's go. <laughs> Michael messaged me on Steam with the Dogen emote from Psychonauts. <laughs> Not doing great so far, but it's fine. Ow. Bump it. Come on. I gotta stop. favorite experience with friends playing Psychonauts is how a few of them fucking despise your favorite character. Oh, it's your favorite Psychonauts character. I don't know if I actually know this information. Dr. Lobato? Oh, okay. I remember him being, like, fine. Maybe I, maybe I haven't played I haven't played Psychonauts 2 though. Maybe there's a reason in that game. But based on one, I thought he was fine. He's a total jerk in one. Listen, sometimes it's funny when characters are mean. Who kind of loses some of his charm? He gets a lot of backstory in Rhombus of Ruin. Why they give him backstory in Rhombus of Ruin? Dude, no offense, who's gonna play the Psychonauts VR game? Everybody just looked up the cutscenes on YouTube before Psychonauts 2 came out. Nobody actually played like Rhombus of Ruin. He doesn't do much in two. It is what it is. 
He's on a table. <laughs> the entire game is a cutscene? Our table! Is Rhombus of Ruin just like one big cutscene too? I was, I was like slightly joking to be a little rude about how I don't care about most VR games, but... Don't want to play too just because they did him so dirty. It's an interactive cutscene? Alright. Again, I don't know. I'm I'm being a little a little too spicy. I'm just like predisposed to not like VR much. Cause it's like such expensive tech and it really does not feel like we've like like it doesn't feel like video game publishers and developers have like done enough to like truly justify it. Literally I feel like the best use of VR thus far has been like interactive chat rooms and stuff like VR chat. Like VR chat feels like the best use of VR that I've seen above, like, a lot of VR games. I mean, there's some cool stuff, like Beat Saber is dope, and, like, Half-Life Alex looks cool as hell, but I don't know. I guess, I guess, like, in my mind, like, the, the, the quantity is not quite there yet for me to be like, oh, man, I gotta drop everything and get a VR headset. I tried my best. This is the map where we clipped. And I kept hearing the clown honk. I think it's a fair stance to have. It was just an insane thing to have after 12 years of nothing Psychonauts related. Didn't they have, like, the Psychonauts 2 Kickstarter at that point? I feel like I remember that being a thing. And it was a little controversial, because at the time they were like, Oh, we don't know if this is like enough money for that or and like there was like no news on it for a while I remember there were like YouTube videos that were like Tim Schafer scammed people into supporting the Psychonauts Kickstarter and he didn't even make the game Boy, I, that 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 sentiment aged extremely well uh, given Psychonauts 2 uh, got Nominated for Game of the Year. <laughs> it was around the same time, got it. Despite it not being your cup of tea, Psychonauts 2 is a very good game. Do not think it was a scam in the end. I think, like, people kind of have a little bit of a warped view of what, like, video game scams are like. Like, I don't know, if a game taking too long to come out is, like, your idea of a scam, then I don't know. I don't know. I don't- I don't feel like we can jack- Oh, what did you do? Oh, you floated over! There's, like, a different path. Okay. Listen, especially when you're working with a small studio, like, it's gonna- it's gonna be hard to, like, come out with, like, a big release, like, Psychonauts 2 in, like, a decent amount of time. And, like, if it does come out in a decent amount of time, you know what you get? You get Mighty Number no. 9. And even then, Mighty Number no. 9 had, like, four delays and it still came out like that. So... It's one of those things where it's, like, if you're supporting, like... Whoop, you're, like, Rainbow right now? If you're supporting, like, these Kickstarter games, like, you kind of gotta accept that it's gonna take a bit to, like, come out. And, I mean, Psychonauts 2 got very lucky. They had, like, the Microsoft bucks, because Double Fine got bought out by Microsoft. A lot of indie studios do not have that same luxury. Stream that's just the credit. How long is the Mighty Number no. 9 credits again? I, I don't... Mighty Number no. 9 is, like, one of those games where, like, I don't even know if I would buy it as a joke. Because I feel like it wouldn't be that interesting.
Noob Knot is doing whatever it takes to make me smile. <laughs> I think Noob not wanted to show me, like, shortcuts and stuff. Ooh. Oh, I thought there was, like... That would have been, like, a crazy shortcut if you could go through the buildings. Yeah, the Sonic Colors Ultimate has, like, long-ass end credits. Um, and before, like, an update, it was so long that the end credits music stopped playing. Which was really funny. Oh god, when I streamed Crash 4 last year, that game had, like, insanely long end credits, too. I swear to god, for, like, Crash 4, they credited everyone who worked at Activision, like, past, present, and future. I feel like there were enough people in the Crash 4, like, end credits that you could, like, sustain a small country. Oh, that shortcut does work? Noob Knot just didn't get it? Ooh, that's interesting. against the wall in front of the red ring and Elixir tackled them. <laughs> oh. Wait, this is like another path! Oh my god. That's cool as hell. I thought I just like would have died there. There was like another path. That's wild. Invincibility potion. Should I try it? Popeye crazy now. You know what? I'm surprised that there's no like horror version of the that that like meme image where it's like sh I, coffee. Should I try it? Okay, I will try it. That feels like the kind of thing that people would have already made like a scary version of where she becomes like a fucked up demon or something when she has the coffee slash crazy potion. Oh, oh, there's like another path. Oh my God, this game, like again, like this game's like track design is really, really good. So many like different paths and like shortcuts you can take. Love to see it. I haven't even going the bottom path there. That was like, when I first played the track, I was always going bottom path. Now I'm always going top path. Oh wait, I just realized, I'm rank C. Not rank C minus, let's go. I guess you just get points forever.
Oh, so you're good. You're good. Don't worry. Ranking is XP. Got it. I don't, I don't, like, take, like, a huge amount of offense to, like, people misgendering me as long as you're not, like, weird about it if you're corrected. Like, I don't care. I get it. Obviously, don't take that as advice for, uh, every trans person on Twitch.tv, but at least for this stream, like, I get it. Because sometimes it happens. I don't- I don't have, like, a, a VTuber model of, like, a awesome anime girl to represent me. I just have, uh, my voice. When in doubt, ask for pronouns. This is true. I have no problem with people doing that kind of thing. And again, as long as, like, you, you know about it afterwards and you're not like a dick about it, then it's like, hell yeah. Also trans? Hell yeah. Trans pride. That's what I love to hear. I need to remember to get the items. Like I'm getting like better as I play. Not much, but I feel like it's slowly happening. Oh my god, wait, was I going the wrong way literally as I said that statement? That's embarrassing. Oh my god, wait, I think I'm going completely the wrong way. <laughs> just... Wait, no, it says this is. What? But no, it's definitely the wrong way. What? Why are you telling me I'm going the wrong way now? Wait. <laughs> I think I fucked up so bad that the game had no idea what I was doing. The game was just like, hey, genius, what the fuck are you doing? Aya should have been shouting way more, literally. I had no idea. I was just like, wait, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Must have missed a checkpoint or something? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I was so confused, I was like, what's going on? It's not like you don't have any reason not to correct yourself either, so you don't care either. Thank you. Hope for the outside world? Yeah! I did actually turn a wrong corner and drive backwards. That's what I figured. The game was like confusing me. For, for a second when she wasn't like insisting, I was like, wait, did I, am I going the right way now? But then I saw the arrows and I was like, no. Two paths led to the same place, got it. I've said it, I, I, I've said this before also. I said this when I was streaming Ninjala. I, and, like, again, this goes back to, like, in, in engaging with, like, very niche communities. Like, I'm always impressed just by how, like, kind a lot of these, like, smaller communities are. Like, literally, like, every time there's, like, a decent amount of people from, like, a small community, like, there's always that, like, slight fear, like, oh, what if someone says something, like, hmm... But no, like, people are always, like, super nice and, like, super kind, and it's, like, it, I love to see it. Like, literally. No other tech required, just pulling down the stick is enough to jump onto those buildings. Oh. It's, like, airplane controls a little bit. And that helps you... S oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, that, that, that like clicked in my mind, that's wild. Oh my god, hell yeah. I'm learning. Guys, I'm learning. If you hold the stick up, you go down faster, but if you hold the stick up... Okay. It's 
get it again. Yes! Oh my god. I feel like I, I feel like I've just unlocked the potential of the universe. Was worried about entering voice chat when you were new because of your voice, but it worked out just fine. Hell yeah. Yeah, it can be nerve-wracking to put yourself out there, but. C plus, let's go. When do you get, like, new classes? Is that when you get to, like, the next letter? Or... Did I take my meds? I'm gonna take it now, just in case I didn't. Ah, oh, fuck, if I didn't... If I... At villager after A plus. Okay. So it's not just, like... I fucked up so bad. <laughs> I put I, I I picked the worst time for a meds check. Also no problem, stellated cute. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Or at least I, if if you're gonna leave. I assume if you were leaving the game. But thank you for playing, for real. Thank you everyone in this game who's been playing, by the way. That I've been getting my ass beat a little bit, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. And I feel like, especially like playing with people who are like already good is like genuinely like teaching me. It's awesome. I feel like at first when I played this course, I was like unsure of it, but I think that was partially just because they placed me in it when I was fighting like no one. It was just like go around the track. And I mean, these kinds of games are generally more fun when you're playing with others. Not that time trial can't be fun, but... Some explosions happening. curious since mods were brought up for this game is it possible to play like mods for this game online or can you only do it in like the single player i would assume that's probably like single player only but if you could do that online that'd be crazy <laughs> Mods do work online on a private ser- Ooh. Actually, like... I would consider doing that. Like... If I'm- if I was to stream this game again, maybe, like, insert some mods in, that could be a lot of fun. This track is so cool. It is. This game is just good. I, I enjoyed this. I think Iberus was the one who donated for me to get this game, so shout out to Iberus for donating for this, literally.
Personally, you got this game for Tide Tribals. Well, I m fumbled that. Personally, got into this game for Time Trial specifically, but playing together with others hanging out in VC makes it easy to play for so long. Hell yeah. Yeah, just like hanging out, chilling. I can see this being a lot of fun like that. I feel like I'm slowly getting better about using my, uh, items. Alright, I don't feel like I'm doing as bad in the regards of remembering to use items. Thank you, Stellated Cube, for the follow, also. into this game because it's Toho, stayed because talking with the dev was fun, and later stayed completely as the game is just fun? Hell yeah. I, like, died instantly. <laughs> also. Again, completely in character for me to be like, oh my god, I feel like I'm getting, like, better at this game. I feel like I'm doing so much better. And then immediately, like, first thing I do when I get into a map is fall and die. Although I can see people who are not noob not. Which means I'm doing a little better, in terms of, like, catching up to people. Aaron Hansen is dead again. I won't elaborate, but you'll see eventually. What do you mean? <laughs> well, now I'm gonna have to, like, check Twitter. What the fuck happened? He put his hair into corn... I don't even think I have a comment on that. I have I have enough like there are there are a million things I could say in this stream. I don't like I don't think I have a single thing that would be thoughtful, inspiring, uh, knowledgeable, or whatever the think image says that could be related to Aaron Hansen having a uh, cornrows. I think this is this is a topic that's dead in the ground before it even got like started. I got nothing for this one. Oh, there's a path up there. Oh my god. Oh, there's like a all path there too. I just noticed that. Hurt. I stumbled and fell. There's a hack of Castlevania that replaces the player character with Sonic. I saw that! I just saw that. I almost said I saw that because of Casper, but I don't think he had the time to play that. If he was interested. There should be hacks of every game that replace the characters with Sonic. Well, good news about this this game, I was told there's a mod where you could play a Sonic R Sonic. Does Sonic still, like, ride on top of someone? Oh man, I'm thinking about it, because for the mods, you would have to take into account, like, they would have the laying animation and then they would be on top of someone. Sonic booby Sonic riding, literally. Oh, I wish I could turn fast enough to like get that corner. That's really good also. Oh, finish? It took me too long to finish, so it just told me to stop. Think Sonic is funny? Maybe. 
I think he's a funny guy. He goes super fast. I need to watch the Sonic movie. BMW from M3 from Most One. <laughs> All characters have a special item and so do mod character. Ooh. Yeah, again, like, I think if we're to, to stream this game again, I would be so down to check out, like, silly mods for this game. That sounds like that'd be a lot of fun. Although, I would have to figure out how to, like, if I wanted to play that with other people, I have to figure out how to, like, get that set up so we all have the same mods. But when the CPU just falls into a pit? I'm the CPU that's falling into the pit? Happily hop with that? Hell yeah. I would be, like, so down for that, genuinely. I should probably also give myself a formal introduction, since there have been, like, a few new followers, and, like, a lot of people have been super nice in chat. Hi, I'm Morgan. I do Twitch variety streams of all kinds of shit all the time. Uh, I have, like, no consistency, but I love to have fun. Um, and if you're, if you're interested in seeing any more streams, uh, you're free to join the Discord. You can honestly also just, like, message me at basically any time. I don't give a shit. I think I should have, like, Discord DMs just, like, open. Um, but we have a Discord server. Uh, I have a Twitter, a, a Tumblr, the YouTube.com where I archive all my streams. Uh, if you go, if you do exclamation point throne, I have a throne gifts, which only has mini wheats on it. Uh, I only wanted to mention this because I... It's funny. I don't know. I'm not good at introducing myself. Someone someone else who's a regular do it for me. Can someone, everyone join the Discord server and DM Morgan a picture of a cute doggy? <laughs> okay, I would love that though. Oh, I had like, Fergus was like so cute today. I say this like, I feel like I say this every stream, but I, I, it's true. Fergus is just, oh, you can go over that. Fergus is like the cutest animal in the world. Hold on, Fergus is not on this scene. Which one of my scenes has Fergus? It's this one. There you go. This is my dog, Fergus. I hope you like him. B minus, let's go. Oh yeah, we have the Fergus emote. Honestly, like, I forget we have the Fergus emote. We also have an emote of my other dog, Roxy. She's very cute, too. Honestly, though, the dogs have been, like, too good about letting me sleep lately, because I keep fucking waking up at, like, 11 a.m., and I feel like shit about it. And especially because it's usually because I, like, oversleep. Why did I think there was something to the left? I have been oversleeping recently. Dude, I literally woke up with, like, a headache today, and I was like, oh, man, am I even gonna be able to, like, do anything today? And then I was like, it was fine, though. I think it probably also helped that I, like, ate some good meals today. Alright, this is... Yeah. Let me do this shortcut. This one I've got down. There's another path up there. Ooh, and there's like a double shortcut? Ooh.
Yeah, oh my god, I also only just realized now that it's like 11.30, and I should probably end the stream soon, but... I mean, hey, that's the sign of a good game, when I've just been, like, enjoying it so much that, like, the time, like, it didn't even, like, process. I did start really late tonight, too. I didn't mean to. We were having, like... We were, we were like, talking about stuff in the Discord. And I was, like, invested in that, and then I was like, Oh shit, it's like 7.30, I should probably start streaming. Oh wait, I fucked this up. I fucked up the shortcut that time. I said I committed it to memory, and I lied. Let's go. Almost 5.30 a.m. for you? Oh, man. You know, one of the things I've also noticed about my stream is that I always seem to have, like, at least, like, one European watching. I mean, some of my, like, I have a lot of good friends who do live in Europe. So there's always, there's usually, like, one of them around. And then, but even then, like, new people who come in, I seem to, get, like, attract a lot of Europeans. And it's like, whoa. I'm glad, but also, like, you guys stay up so late is crazy. Dude, if I'm not in bed by, like, 3 a.m., I'm miserable. We should probably sleep, but we don't. Yo! Number one player in the game, let's go. I respect it, I respect it. Every time I think about staying up that late, I just remember, like, being on Sock Scarefest and staying up until, like, 7 a.m. And every time I think about that and how I was just, like, dead for, like, Halloween, I'm like, yeah, I can only, like, stay up that late if it's for, like, charity. <laughs> I am willing to stay up extremely late if it's for a good cause. But if it's not, I have to be in bed at a certain time, otherwise it means the insomnia has won and I'm very sad. Oh, there's like a shortcut there? Or like an alternate path? Okay. What am I doing? I had a item. Red fences you can cradle over. Ooh. Okay, not that fast. The cradle the cradle is the boost, right? It's used as a shortcut indicator on many tracks. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Now. Hey, that wasn't that bad. Learning the, the fence hopping? I still lost by like 20 seconds, but hey. I feel like I'm- I feel like I did better there. Got murdered by Sine at the line. <laughs> okay. I think we'll do a couple more matches of this and then... Should probably like... Maybe not go to bed immediately, but I have some- I have a couple things I gotta do tonight. I gotta- I gotta support my friend Michael. He has like a- he has to like wake up, or he has to be up 
for, uh... He has to go to the airport at, like, 5 in the morning or some shit. So I owe it to him. I owe it to him to stay up a little bit, to help him stay awake. fun though. I had a lot of fun with this. Thank you all for joining me. Got a couple more races and then call it off for the night. Okay, let's go. Oh god. Wait, I tabbed out. I tabbed out. That was my bad. It always- it's always Misty Lake, huh? I'm just doomed to never do well on this course. That should be, like, a shortcut. That, like, part where I keep falling off, that should be the new shortcut. Specifically so I can stop looking bad every time I fall into it. Everyone support me in the back. Misty Lakes takes the longest to learn to do well. I can see that. It's got like so many crazy shortcuts, but it's also like very precarious. That could probably, if you have like a boost, that's probably like a good shortcut. SDM takes longer to completely master, arguably. Okay. Getting frightened. One really difficult shortcut. Ooh. Steel Lake honestly feels like a joke on track design. <laughs> Can imagine Chirno just booting up Blender and making this. <laughs> Perhaps that is the ultimate in character moment. Again, I'm still mad that I recognize the melody of the song from a fucking Scout TF2. Why TPMV? Better than Table? Uh, a fucking bunk of Miru. Dude, the fucking guy who made Bunka Miru is like a is like a not like a CEO, but he like runs like a VTuber like like company now. I guess that would make him a CEO, actually. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that is like if you own the company, that makes you the CEO, basically. But you know what I mean. Like, he has, like, his own, like, VTuber company now. I have not watched any of these VTubers, but I remember that fact. Probably also explains why he doesn't really, like, upload his own stuff anymore, it seems. Yeah, no, this is true facts. Mount... Mountain Dew. Spell, spelled not like Mountain Dew. I th I'm pretty sure he runs like a VTuber company now. <laughs> Kinda based. <laughs> Scared of VTubers? I don't think I could ever, like become a VTuber, but I respect it. Oh, OB here? Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, we're flying. Oh, we're gliding. Plan on it at some point, but for now, you're a PNG tuber. Mm -hmm. I respect the hustle. Dude, like, coming up with, like, a good character design for, like, a VTuber character is hard. And, like, rigging that shit, like, oh, I can't even imagine how much time that takes. I'm going backwards. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. Just your own Sona? Hey. Sometimes this is what you gotta do. Listen, it's hard to design a VTuber, but that doesn't mean you can't be self-indulgent with it. Had one in your brain for when you start streaming, but you probably never will. I mean, hey, as, as like, resident streamer, I can say, like, streaming is fun. It, 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 sometimes it can feel a little hard to get things off the ground, but, like, Streaming has been, like, one of the most fulfilling things I've done, like, creatively. And again, like, doing stuff like this where I get to, like, engage with, like, communities and such that I otherwise probably never would get the chance to if I was just, like, a normal schmuck. Like, I, I love it. I, I do. I enjoy streaming a lot. And I've met, I've met a lot of great people from streaming. I mean multiple regulars in chat don't have the specs to stream right now that's understandable also though i will say like i started like doing like youtube and like streaming stuff like 10 years ago with the marissa on my screen oh yeah whoa <laughs> wait i just <laughs> i just processed what was happening oh my god <laughs> I, I started streaming, like, ten years ago when I basically, like, basically the only thing I could stream was, like, Pokemon games, like, emulated. Like, that was basically it. And, like, that worked. And, like, you don't have to, like, if you're, like, trying to get into it, you don't have to worry too much about, like, oh, well, I wanna, I wanna stream, but my computer's kinda weak. That's fine. That's fine, you can make it work. At least some group got it, yeah. Alright, I think this will be my last race of the night. I think this will be the last one, because we've been going like four hours, it's almost midnight. But, I want to thank you all for joining me, this was a lot of fun. Hell yeah. First try, hell yeah. Sun is already up as well? Oh man. Also need to get a microphone at some point. You've got a lot to get doing before you consider streaming. I get that. I get that. It is a commitment. One thing I can say about streaming is it is a commitment. And you have to be willing to like put yourself out there and that can be hard. It is very hard to do that, but again, I, I found it very rewarding. As someone who's been doing it like on and off for like 10 years and really, like, hunkered down on it, like, 2019. And again, it started as, like, only my friends, but I've gotten to engage with, like, especially recently, some very cute, cool, like, communities and stuff. And I've gotten to collab with some really cool streamers, and I will continue to do so. I still have, like, the one collab with another streamer that I want to do. And, I mean, we've got so many projects in the pipeline now, like, the fake Pokemon trading card game with all the fake cards. There's, like... I, I I feel like I am in, like, heaven right now with how many, like, wild stream ideas I have and how much I want to do and how much I want to stream. Like, once I'm graduated, which only got a couple weeks now, like, I feel like we're gonna get into, like, overdrive. We're, like, I feel like we're gonna enter, like, a renaissance era. I already feel like a lot of the recent streams I've done have been, like, very, very good. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm, uh, you know, being a little too vain. 
I don't know. People have seemed to enjoy what I'm doing. Otherwise, I don't know why you'd be here right now. Alright, there's an alternate path there. Man, have I just been missing the one alt path that I, like, knew for a bit? Or maybe it's later on, and I haven't missed it yet. Or maybe it's the other reconstructed one. The re both of the reconstructed maps kind of look the same. Wouldn't call it vanity, I think it's fine to appreciate your own achievements, thank you. I'm always worried I'm gonna, like, if I, like, talk myself up too much, I'll sound like I have my own head up my ass. But, like, genuinely, like, I, I've, I, I've, creatively, I've felt very fulfilled recently. And I think, like, changing it up so I'm doing, like, a lot more, like, one-off stuff and not focusing so much on, like, playthroughs, because, like, not that I will stop doing playthroughs ever. Oh, that's the shortcut. I did fuck it up. I have been fucking it up. I enjoy doing playthroughs, and I will continue to do them, but as time goes on, and I've kind of already done playthroughs of a lot of games that I grew up on, it kind of becomes one of those things where it doesn't feel as, like, necessary. Especially for something like this, like, that was, like, two and a half hours to beat the single player, like, if I was focusing on this as, like, exclusively, like, a playthrough, like, I still, still think I would have had fun, but... I've had a lot of fun also playing with, like, the community of this game. Oh my god. Went flying. I don't know, I, I, I come from the era where, like, Let's Plays were still a thing. <laughs> Y'all remember Let's Plays? They don't do that anymore. You got, like, Chugga Conroy and, uh... But yeah, this was a lot of fun. Got to B plus on the online. Still in fairy class, but... That was a lot of fun. Hell yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. I will definitely, like, consider coming back to this to do, like, mod stuff, because that sounds like that could be a lot of fun. GG's. Yeah, g good game. Good games all around. Thank you guys for joining me. Let me get the outro up was there for the let's play era you got the habit of talking to yourself while playing games from you as like a 12 year old practicing for when you do lps i feel that i feel that oh my god <laughs> but um yeah that's gonna be it for tonight's stream i want to thank you all for coming hope you'll have a good night and take care um tomorrow we're gonna be doing balan wonder world i have no choice in the matter we have to do balan wonder world and uh, then on Sunday, we'll be doing some Mario Kart Wii. Um, yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. See you guys on the flip side. Oh, I have, like, indigestion. I gotta go. Bye-bye.